Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining and please sit back, relax, and enjoy your stay. Kick your feet up and grab some popcorn, and let me not forget, enjoy the show. So, what did we miss last time? Tell us, game. Did I do a manual save? Yes, I did. Okay. Tell us, game. What happened when the branching happened? I said you better not ditch me. <laughs> Shoma is related to Horadori Institute somehow? I don't care! Hello, I'm Shoma's father! I won't let you lay a finger on him! In other words, Nyes, Tokiko, Chikara, and Horadori Institute are all connected. The machine looks pretty intimidating seeing it like this. And now we're inside Shoma's... Somnium, there we go. I don't know why I blanked out on that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hello, Serene. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy your stay. How are you? Let's uh, check on our uh, AI Tamagotchi. I, Bali. Do you believe in fortune telling? It can be right or wrong. It's like video gaming. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Is there anything here that we... Uh, is there... What do I interact with here? It's still not funny. Is it that thing up there? Huh? Oh, wait. I didn't even see that eyeball. <laughs> oh, here. Okay. That's the suit Annie's Komachi always wears. Just vibing here while I work on some other stuff. Fair enough, fair enough. Thank you for your company. I appreciate you. Is this all he has? Joke. Why? Nothing is better to heal Shoma's heart than a smile. So... Okay, leave it to me. Alright. Um... Give us your best joke, Tama. <laughs> yeah, this is our AI. This is our AI companion. Dad! Dad! Why did you disappear on me? This is supposed to be a joke? It really disappear? So this is a brand new 10,000 yen bill. This world is becoming more and more cashless. Look, an invisible man. No, he's just naked from the waist down. You know, this might have the opposite effect. Why? People watching on the TV were going crazy. I... Uh, Tom, uh, I, uh... Shoma's dad is so unfunny. Huh? Yeah, Andy's Kameji sucks. <laughs> and you've never made us laugh either. Yeah, there's some really uh nice character designs in this game. Highly recommend. Oh, hold on. We used to Yeah, lameness must be genetic. So true. Now that's funny. We don't want to contract your unfunny disease, so we're gonna stay away from you. I forgot how lame kids were with insults. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Stupid dad. Why me? This happened to Shoma. Even from a young age, he's had a rough. Oh, man. His dad's like... I hate this world. It's all fake. Only thing I can believe... Hello, Presvale. Look at the stream. I make. Thank you so much for joining. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Shoma rejected the real world. He decided he belonged in a world of his own creation. How are you today, buddy? For him, the world he created was the real world. Hey, we can respect that model. Alright. Updated as Shoma used to blank, but blank to the world, but blank. Well, blank. <laughs> Is this a model of a house? Here we go. <laughs> Oh. Tama, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is that Shoma? Oh, hey, an eyeball. Is that Shoma from earlier? Seems like he went inside that model. No, it you went inside. Like Shoma's house from earlier, but the colors are more vibrant here. Maybe that symbolizes his belief that this artificial world is the real world. Those are the clothes Shoma ripped up earlier, but it looks like cardboard. Maybe it's a wound in Shoma's heart. I bet we have to do something with this. Let's fix it. Before that, let's look at the eyeball. 
Gentleman began blank and became blank. Action sin is blank and blank as well. Is that? Give me those eyeballs, please. Thank you. Fixed with scissors. What? Uh, let's see. Fixed with glue? You'd think glue would work, Can we right? Glue it back together. Let's try it. You would think you could. All right, done. And wow. it just flew off. Glue wasn't right. Do we have any screws? Hello, Ahmad. Yeah, Thomas' voice actor is really nice. Also, you can get you like you five minutes left. You can get like life advice from uh, what's it called? Oh, it's tab. Whoops. You can get life advice from the AIs depending on, you know. The... Wow, I like, I like you a lot. <laughs> uh, but you can get um. You can get life advice from the AIs, and they respond differently depending on which AI you have with you. <laughs> Mr. Date really is a great investigator, don't you think? Yeah, his skill as an investigator is quite impressive. Just like his package. Excuse me? <laughs> Did you do a scat on him? Worried about money? That's right. <laughs> Talking about how to use assets? Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> mm. Talking about business. Uh, my financing shorted out. <laughs> You're doing well. How about you talk to Richie Chieda? Who? If you have the ambition, he might lend you the money. I don't know who the heck that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, fix a screwdriver? I mean, Toma. I mean, Shoma. Screwdriver, maybe. Shoma hmm. seems to be good with robotics, it so it would only make sense you could fix it with a screwdriver if this is his heart. So, how do we do this? Why don't you turn the screw? There are no screws. These are clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Shoma began making his own world and became detached from reality. Actions in his creation blank as well. Uh. Um. Hmm. Tape? The best thing for fixing a tear? Tape. All right. I did it. It turned back to the original outfit. There we go. We used to play together. God of energy. Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max. We used to laugh together. Hey, that's no fair. <laughs> Laughed. <laughs> well, uh, Andy's is the best. Stupid dad. Remembered father. That's a lot one. Still not funny. Chillman began making his own world and became detached from reality. Actions in his creation impact the outside world as well. I wonder if that really happened. Maybe he tucked away the good memories in the world he created. The painful memories were played too. Not just the good memories. Yeah. Poor kid's heart. Even deep down, those painful memories remain. Shoma and his dad need to have an honest heart to heart. Yeah. Alrighty. And we're big again. Huh? Looks like we made it out of the model. Here we go. Bye bye balls in TV. It's an older model TV. What's protruding out of the top? It looks like a spout or something. So we need to pour something in there? I don't know. Maybe it's just for show. Laugh? You want me to laugh at the TV? Yeah. I was thinking it could bring back memories of the father and son laughing together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. I heard laughter from the TV. Hmm. Should we turn it on? 
Choma used to blank, but closed his heart due to his environment weighing down on him. But blank. A TV. Okay, turn it on then. And just like that. Shoma. God of laughter, lucky, happy, Panchaka Max! Look at what you did. You really ruined the atmosphere. Ugh. <laughs> um, uh, God of apologies, sorry, sorry. Enough already. You're past your prime. I can't even stand you. That was oh. so uncool. Why does he have to be my dad? And That's back what into comes his from world. being a comedian's son, I guess. But he shouldn't blame Kameji for that. I wonder if we can change Shoma's heart by going inside the model. Hmm. Shoma used to laugh a lot, but closed his heart to the world. Four minutes Ugly now. Blank. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, we made it back into the model. Come to think of it, we haven't found anything on Horridori Institute yet. We need to help Shoma first. Good point. We can't leave him like this. All right. Huh. Is that? Shoma was stabbing him with the screwdriver earlier. Did the hole get bigger? We should fix this, too. How are we gonna fix glass? Uh... What's this in the suitcase? Probably Kameji's suitcase. I'm guessing it's for his props. Uh... Go on vacation? <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> Just so I can mess around, I'm gonna use a timey. Suitcases are used for travel, right? Maybe Shoma has memories of going on a trip. Give me a line. Yeah, sure. Shoma, we're going to Machu Picchu. I'm gonna train my comedy skills at a world heritage site. <laughs> nope. Wait, can we even afford to go to Machu Picchu? I never specified Machu Picchu. <laughs> uh, okay, let me think. Well, it's literally just interacting with a suitcase, so... I guess we gotta open it then. Here we go. Nope. No good. It's not opening. Do we tickle it? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use a timey and Where get throw just so I can get that minus 30 seconds. Uh, over there somewhere. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Tama! It came back. Christ, how strong are you? It's unexpected. The suitcase isn't even broken. Made. Okay, now we tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Stop! It, it tickles! I don't know why, but the way she said that actually made me feel a bit ticklish. He's laughing so much. Like, I actually felt my stomach being tickled for some reason. There's something inside. <laughs> a drawing of Kumiji's face? I wonder if Shoma drew it. Shoma used to laugh a lot to close his heart to the world, but deep down he still loves to laugh. It's a drawing of Komeiji's face. Uh, ball up and throw, comment, cut up, uh... Hmm. I think ball up what and throw? What are you thinking? Crumbling up a drawing and throwing it away? It's okay. I have an idea. If you're lying, I'll destroy every ball in your body. <laughs> oh, then never mind. Let's not. Huh? I didn't actually have a plan. I'm going to crush. I'm just being honest. Which ball do you want crushed first? <laughs> My left eye. That's me. 
<laughs> Show him a blank. However, now he blank and has blank. You have blank. three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's put 20 seconds away. Uh, this picture, it's a two-dimensional representation, but it shows incredible depth, I think. The father of the artist. Yes, we can really feel their relationship. Or something. The square face. It's drawn with the principles of cubism, I believe. Maybe. Yes, the totality of it. Like at the bottom right side, the uh, color. Color is brilliant. We can see the struggle. She's struggling so much. <laughs> well, not really. And that part that goes, psh, really feel the love there. You should apologize to the artist. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at that stuff. Oh. Uh, started to dislike blank and stop blank. That was a lot of keys. Can you tell me about you? Worried about health? That's right. Mm, should I even ask about anything? It's dire. I guess that's possible. It's fine. I'll always be by your side. Ryuki, Mizuki, Aiba, and everyone else is always on your side. Oh, You'll get better. My heart. Believe in yourself. Don't give up. I'll say it again. You'll get better. It might be tough, but you're strong. You can make it through. Did you really believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's continue. Uh, positive the reinforcement. Komeji's face. Uh, cut out. You want me to cut it out, idiot? I can't cut something important like this. Jeez, you don't have to yell. I have an idea. Can you cut out just his face? If this ends up hurting Shoma, I'm going to cut your face out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Done. Try covering the hole in the TV with it. Oh, yeah, that's smart. There we go. Um, uh, God of apologies. Sorry, sorry. Enough already. You're past your prime. I can't even stand you. <laughs> God of seasons! Warm, hot, chilly, cold! <laughs> wow, you're just forcing it now. You're past your prime. <sighs> he has no sense for comedy. Why does he try so hard? <laughs> Aw, part of him does kind of find it funny. doesn't fit. He's conflicted. He wants him to do well, but he doesn't want to see him anymore. We came back. Why am I laughing? This isn't how I really feel. This can't be true. It's all lies. I don't know. You were kind of lying about how you didn't like Mizuki a while ago. Shoma is confused. Then she gave you a chocolate and you shut the hell up. <laughs> huh. We can't go inside the model anymore. The sign for interaction is gone too. Maybe Shoma is starting to accept reality. Right. We did fix a lot of things. All right. He's starting to comprehend what's real and what's artificial. That's good. All right. It says something. Let's see. Your dad is not funny. From now on, your name is Lamo Enda. Nice to meet you, Lamo Enda. You stupid kids! Fuck off! Stop making fun of him! Relax, Tama. Yeah, honestly, my reaction too. <laughs> this isn't real. Hmm. It's all fake. Everything in this world is fake. All fake. I'm fake. Everything is fake. Oh boy.
Yeah. That's it. I just need to make everything fake. I don't believe it. Shoma? Whoa. This is not reality. Maybe on the other side. I thought we were close to a breakthrough, but his imagination is running away with him even more. This house we're in is just a model. No, everything is fake. This made-up world is fake. Reality itself is fake. Everything is fake. There's nothing we can do. What? Why are you giving up, huh? We still have time! Sorry, you're right. It's too early to give up. Right, Ryuki's not in the best mental health as well either, is he? He almost started to dislike his name and stopped... Blank. It's social a social studies textbook. Uh... Fix with whiteout? There's nothing written in it, so there's... Just smear some more on there. At random? At random. Huh. It got fixed. What happened? I get it. You fixed history. <laughs> and... Well... Um... According to Shoma's memory, I think it has to do with his name. His name, huh? Writing his name on his belongings. You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Oh, crap. Is there only that much time left? Well, before that, let's go talk to the Tamagotchi. What new parts do you like? Uh, Crystal Skull. If you keep it, you'll get cursy. Uh, science. It's a science textbook. There's no name on it. Uh. It's a uh, math notebook. Oh. Fix with eraser? I'm going to erase the blacked out parts. Shoma Enda. There we go. Dad, why is my name Shoma? Oh, you want to know how you got your name? You know, I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. But when I told your sister, she said, Why don't you use it as your stage name? Ha 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 ha. I need to brush up on my comedy. Yeah, you do. Does he even have a sister? Everybody's a critic. Anyway, I decided to change the kanji for your name. The kanji for show can be congratulatory or mean happiness. I was so happy when you were born, I made it a part of your name. But to me, you still have the laughter in there. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. Aw, such a good dad. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Stop making me talk about it. God of shyness. Oh, no, please. Not the spotlight. Stop that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen a lot of those types of people out there. I still don't get why that's funny. Laughter and happiness. <laughs> it's not my style of comedy, honestly. But he's a good dad. But smiling doesn't suit me. This... Oh, that's just a teenage angst, to angst talking. I don't want to accept it. Choma believes Nai's teaching believes the world is fake. By suppressing his feelings, the world has lost its color. Ah, so that's what happened. I think it's a good name. That's why smiles suit him well. Yeah. We need to convince him. I don't need this memory. I don't need this name. It all hurts. I'm not even real. The world, Dad, it's all fake. Oh boy. Nice shouldn't have gotten involved with him. Amusement park. The barber said they're waiting for the ear to come on down. Huh? God of haircuts, snip, snip. Oops, got your ear. Stop. It's not funny. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, well. I don't 
don't think that actually happened. A lot of factors led to him becoming an introvert. I'd like to fix every little thing, but the trophy Shoma destroyed disappeared. Can you find something like it? There has to be something. Well, okay. Uh... It's an old dresser. I wish we could look inside. No? Comedy duo, yes! What do you want me to do? Just go with the flow. Do it. Your instructions are way too vague. The other day, I hit my heart on the corner of the dresser and I thought my pinky toe was gonna explode. Other way around! Uh, well, we, we hey, opened it. Do you think we could have just opened it normally? <laughs> I guess we could have. There's something inside. Ripped origami? Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. We could have just opened it normally. <laughs> Chomo blank. However, now he blank and has thrown away that memory. Hmm. A refrigerator. I want to open the door. Uh. Um. We're gonna change the time to six oh, seconds. Surprisingly late. Is huh. that? Isn't that? That, 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 that plushie. Add a rooster. Add a rooster. There we go. Add a rooster. What was that? Uh, he, he does not accept his dad and has thrown away that memory. It's a. Drop comedy. Change that. We're gonna do a puff skit, Tama. Again? It'll be good this time. It's gonna bring back some sad memories again. We got this. It's fine. All right. I'm going to escape this uninhabited island on this. That's a raft. What? A third form? An enemy who gets stronger when they get smaller? What time do you think it is? Morning. In the Showa era. Hey, look. This is squishy. A kind of mighty hammer. Uh... Oh, Mama, you have a place here too? Marble's second branch. <laughs> Whew. Seems like the grading skill for laughs was lower this time. Thank God for that. Maybe it was always open. Oh, it's a ripped piece of paper. Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. Well, we're getting more of it. Choma gave his dad a gift to support him. However, now he does not accept his dad and has thrown away that memory. Okay, that's what that was. Hmm. There's miso soup inside. Ooh, miso soup. What just happened? Exquisity ooze me the frick? Okay, heat up, I guess. What just happened? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I can't move. Are you paralyzed? Uh oh. Well, this ain't good. What the frick? Had a rooster. What is this? Are you doing this? What are you doing? Why? No, Ryuki. Help me, Ryuki! Oh, Jesus Christ! For... <laughs> what the hell was that? What's going on? Hello, Rooster. Almost get cursed by Adder Rooster during Shoma's Somnium. <laughs> what the frick? It's a monowheel robot Shoma made. There's something under the tire. I wonder if it'll move out of the way. Uh, smile? Let's choose smile. It may only be a robot, but we need to show it love. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> that sounded so demanding. You're downright bipolar. It's reacting. I, I think the robot was like, okay, this this chick's crazy. Let's get out of here. 
it's a ripped piece of paper. Let's leave it on top of the kotatsu. Hell yeah. We got cursed by Otto Rooster. This ripped paper must have some significance to it. Should we try to repair it? Yes. Okay. It is one cheat. Let's try putting it... Fix with tape? Tape. Here we go. I don't know why we would have tried fixing it with anything else. Max Jump! Oh! Um, good luck, Dad! Oh. Ah, well! This he is, is stubborn. Lies. It's fake. I don't want to see it anymore. It always hurts. He made fun of me. I'm nothing. Save me. Please save me. Make the hurt go away. I, I feel so much for so Shoma. I need to escape these lies. Why? Why does everything look like so real? If it wasn't fake. If it was real the whole time. Is my pain real too? He doesn't want his pain to be real. That's why he is escaping into Nyes' ideology. <sighs> Honestly, I'm Tama, not too you okay? Yeah, somehow. I didn't think that memory was going to be that bad. Why did Shoma have such a negative reaction? Sometimes, the best memories make the hurtful ones worse. If you're not in a good place, the last thing you want to do is look back on all the times that were better. Shoma doesn't want to see how he was back then. Back before his heart was broken. That's how he stays sane. That must be hard. Hmm. Poor kid. You have a minute left! Let's pick the up. metal we fixed earlier. I'm not young anymore. Dad! Dad! Dad, you're the winner in my eyes! Super duper gold medal! You were amazing! Hey, he's not wearing headphones in this. Wow. Aww. Now this is a super duper gold medal. Thank you, Shoma. Super duper gold medal. Maybe if we use that, can you hold the metal? I'll try. All right. Don't have much time left. That robot's chest part is open. I think it's busted. Maybe if we fix it, Shoma will be healed too. Uh, time equals one, gold medal. This is the gold medal? Yeah, wedge it into the chest area there. Roger that. All right. Right in here. Oh, that fixed the robot. That's good, right? I have to pay you back for giving me such a nice gold medal, Shoma. I congratulate Aww. Shoma Enda for coming first in the championship of gold medal making. Wow! <laughs> it's a robot! Aww. Shoma, you've noticed it, haven't you? The feeling I've been holding inside. You ignored your dad. And you ignored your feelings, didn't you? Stop! I don't want to see you anymore! I've had enough! Shoma... No one is laughing! I accepted it. Stupid. You're wrong. 
That stupid job. That's not true. He should quit. That's not what you want. He's a shitty father. You don't think that. I don't care about anything. You should know. I really... What you really want to say. I really... Dad, I... I love you. I'm home to the max! I thought there was an earthquake today, but... It was just the studio shaking with laughter at my jokes! <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Shoma? Hey, Dad. I think I understand you a little more now. I think I understand me more, too. I wanted to say I'm sorry for so long. It's okay, Shoma. A comedian is the coolest job ever. Aww. And I'm so, so proud of you, Dad. You are? Really? <laughs> Thank you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting kind of emotional here, too. <laughs> this world isn't fake. My heart feels so warm inside right now. This feeling has to be real. I know this world has to be real. He got it back. His heart. He should be able to open up more now. Yeah, you're right. You know, Shoma does look best when he's smiling. Yeah. Acids Ken, Riku Chapter 4 R2. So, you ready to talk now, kid? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long, long time. And it's a painful dream. You okay, kiddo? Such a nice view. Yeah. Bad I decoded the message really? and went where it led me, to an underground floor of the Nice Japan building. They called it the Cathedral. I think we've been there. The president, Miss Shigure, was waiting for me there. She complimented me on decoding the message and invited me to join Nice. That's probably why Bats 490 was being spread in the first place. Tukiko did mention that. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability <coughs> to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nice. Miss Shigure told me all sorts of things about Nice's ideals, and I was sick of the world at the time. So when they told me this world isn't real, I fell in love with Nice's beliefs right away. Yeah. They told me to keep it all a secret. You cannot tell anyone about the secret of the world. Secret of the world, known by only a handful of people. I felt like I was special, just knowing I was one of the chosen few. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. Fair enough. I thought I just told you. No, that's not what I meant. You deliberately lied about it pointing to Horidori Institute. You could have chosen not to say anything at all. But if I didn't say anything... You would have taken me in, right? Then I'd get tortured and injected with the truth serum, and you'd force me to talk about the secret of the world. That's not how we do things, kid. Plus, you're too small for us to do that to you, I think. I lied because I didn't want that to happen. 
Is that what he thinks the police do? Well, he is still a kid. Oridori Institute <laughs> was the first place that popped into my head. I've been there lots. And I hated the director, Mr. Horidori, so I wanted to bug him a bit. <laughs> fair. You know what? Fair. How do you like the Ferris it's wheel? It's not bad. You should have let my dad on, too. He's waiting in a corner of the park. I thought it would be easier for you to talk if we were alone. No, that's not true. Things are different now. Good for him. That's good. Looks like the chastity belt of his heart has unlocked. God damn it, Tama. <laughs> you know what? We're letting you have this just this once. We show the security guard at Misatan our police IDs to get in here. We told him this was regarding investigation that us through. The main power to the amusement park is still on, and the key to the Ferris wheel control board is still stuck in the ignition, so it'll be easy to move this. Fair enough. It all started with the test. The results from my health checkup at my elementary school came back abnormal, so they wanted to do more tests. But instead of the hospital, I was taken to Horidori Institute. The test results show that you have some very Ooh. special genetic abnormalities in your DNA. It's extremely rare. Only one in hundreds of thousands of people has it. One day, and it will be soon, you will fall ill to an incurable disease, and it will take your life. The only way for you to survive is to receive gene therapy through genome editing here at this institute. So I started going to Horidori Institute, but it wasn't true. Not really. About that envelope, I stole it from the institute. Found it on my doctor's desk. It said it was top secret, so I thought it must be super important. So, I grabbed it, put it in my pocket. Inside the envelope was pieces of paper with writing all over it. It was written in German, but I managed to figure out what it was saying by using a translation app. There actually wasn't anything wrong with my genes. It was all for the sake of research. Horridori Institute was rewriting my genetic code. Oh, wow. They used me for human experiments. Oh, God. When I found out, I talked to Director Horridori, but he acted like he did nothing wrong. Why are you upset with me? You should be grateful. Your body is now special thanks to genome editing. Also, I would advise against pulling out of the experience now. Your body is still in a transitionary stage. It needs regular testing and medication. Oh boy. If you stop now, all the cells in your body will falter and dissolve. I doubt that's actually true. Also, let's talk to the Tamagotchi. What phenomenon do you like? Those are... You know, let's go poltergeist this time. Play pigeons for one shotty something something. That guy's a scumbag. I don't know. The papers in the envelope didn't have any details. And Director Horridori didn't tell me anything. Rather than rewriting yours, they were probably trying to... Take your Do you genius. notice any changes in your body? No, not really. It's the same as usual. Does your father know about this? I don't think so. I haven't told him. I didn't want him to worry about, and Director Horidori threatened me not to. Well, this should go without saying, but I want you to keep this a secret. Don't tell the police, your family, anyone. If you do, I'll be forced to destroy all of the data and the medicine that you need. And you know what that would mean. Don't you? That's bullshit! He probably hasn't done anything yet. Thanks for telling me all this. It's going to be a huge help for the investigation. No need to thank me. I owe you my life, Mr. Ryuki. And besides, I decided to be honest from now on. I see. That's good. I like the look on his face. Yeah. You know, I actually wanted to spell the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. You have a nice smile, Shoma. It fits your name perfectly. My name? Name. Name. Wait, I remember something. What is When I was being kidnapped by the researchers, I met Terror in the warehouse. You did? What? I couldn't see their face because they had a metal mask on, but I'm sure it was Terror. They said... I am Terror. You've heard of me, haven't you? Of course, that is a Dalio. I'll tell you and only you. My true name. Just as that. My name is... Dahlia. Dahlia? By the time we got off the Ferris wheel, it was already right out. The sun is rising to the east. 
shines brightly, diffusing through the white haze covering the city that had gathered in the cold night. Welcome back, Shoma. Dad. I'm home. And thank you. You risked your life to protect me, right? So... Shoma, I'm so sorry. Until now, I've always been thinking about what's best for me. I always said I was doing things for you, but I was just being selfish. I've caused so much trouble. At work and for you. Your mother and sister, too. I wonder how much darker this timeline would have been if I chose the other route. But I'm done being selfish. I can't put you through any more pain. I'm going to quit comedy and get a normal, regular office job. Don't quit. Oh. What? I like your comedy, Dad. I like you as a comedian. Shoma. I don't care if kids make fun of me at school anymore. I won't let them say you're uncool. You're trying to help people with your jokes, right? It's just like when you protected me. You put your heart and soul into it so you can make people laugh and make this world a happier place. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So, so, I don't want you to quit being a comedian, no matter what. Aww. He's so much sweeter now that his heart's been unlocked. Is that? Oh, he fixed Dad, it. You dropped this at the warehouse district, didn't you? That's where I picked it up. And when I went to the police earlier, I borrowed some tape and fixed it. Aww. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> you won the best dad in the world championship. It's a landslide victory. <laughs> you try so hard as a comedian, and it's kind of lame. You're so cool at the same time. You drink too much, have nose hair sticking out, and wipe your face with hand towels. But you're my super dumb funny dad, and I'm proud to be your son. Oh, that's one spectacular prize. Oh. A landslide victory for me, huh? Thanks a bunch, Shoma. <laughs> oh, this is bringing a tear to my eye. By the way, Dad, there's one favor I want to ask. Uh? God of energy, Hinti Hinti, a chaka flex! <laughs> God of energy, lucky happy, a chaka flex! <laughs> God of apology! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just sorry. God of seasons, oh, hot, chilly, cold. <laughs> God of shyness, oh no, please, not the spotlight. <laughs> Ryuki, you should get to the hospital soon. Yeah. The case isn't solved yet either. Yeah, I know, but just a bit. I, I want to watch them a little bit longer. They have a lot of issues to work out, don't they? Yeah, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, look at that smile. As long as they have smiles, their world will be saved. Aww. Hey, Shoma, uh, what did you think of that joke? It was great, Dad. You really are the best comedian in the world! Aww. <laughs> it's so nice that they're a family again. Dahlia. Huh, Dahlia. So Meiji and Shoma are out. End. Case isn't closed yet. There are many mysteries remaining. The truth of the HB case, terror, subjective, fury shares the main characters. In this game, the story branches at the Somnia. In the flowchart, select the Somnium and 
find a different route hidden in the dream world. None. Dahlia. Okay. Do I have? Wait, no, no, no. Don't end from there. Uh. Here we go. Start sink. Okay, so we need information from a different timeline in order to get through that. Super stand up battle! Can Tama win for a fifth week in a row and take the seat? Hold up, one sec. Okay, we'll skip through everything we've already seen in the last part for now. It's Dahlia, I'll remember that. Dahlia is the name. Let's... Let's see... Let's head straight to Komeiji for now. Fans are important to Komeiji. He's got a... So, assistant director... Uh, no, let's quiz real quick. Oh. Okay. Super funny gag. Here we go. Fans are important to come easy. Let's autograph. Okay. His friend left him in bed after co-signing. Uh up up there, okay, cool. Lock info. Oh. Okay, cool. So Meiji. Inflate balloon. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, yada, yada. Here we go. Prepare the money. Okay. I just need to get some money ready, and those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows, they said they had a good paying job. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. Oh, boy. This is going to be significantly, uh... This is gonna be significantly more Let's go. darker than the last one, don't I? What I need to help Shoma is blank, blank, and blank. Even I have to blank, whatever happens to me, blank. Okay, good. So even in this route, he's like, what's it called? He is doing it with a priority of Shoma. It's in a shooting mind. game. I can't picture Komeiji playing this. Uh, try it. I don't even play. Oh, I'm not a target. <laughs> he won't play. Maybe he won't do it himself. Well, in that case, uh, even I have to break the law. Oh, okay. four minutes now. A shooting game. Something funny. Say something funny. Oda Army, rifle squad, second row. <laughs> Ah, he's making a reference to Oda Nobunaga's army. Maybe a soldier waiting to swap into the second firing line in the Battle of Nagashino? You don't need to analyze his joke. Do you understand how hard it is to say something funny when someone asks you to say something funny? I mean... Oh, I'm so sad now. I'm losing energy. Usually when somebody just randomly tells me to say that, I'd say something cruel. Like your face. What should I do when I'm losing energy like this? God of energy, Inti, Inti, a Chaka Max! There it is! 
You're the only person in the world who finds that funny. This has nothing to do with shooting anymore. <laughs> hey, Ryuki, can you think of a better cue? I figured he would be bad at shooting, which is why I went with it. But he is a comedian, you know. You're a terrible director. <laughs> but I need to help Shoma his money, even if I have to break the law, whatever happens to me. A shooting game. Find someone good at games. What? You want me to play this? Oh, uh, hey there. You look like a shooter. Why don't you give it a shot? Oh. Uh, this is the goods. I'm gonna take the pay. Don't worry, it's untraceable. Thank you. Oh, he got caught up in the black market. Oh, boy. What is something important? Oh, no. Andy's Komeji was selling firearms? Huh? Komeji is gone. What? Oh. He's over there. There he is. Oh, okay. What I need to help Shoma is money, money, money. Even if I have to break the law, whatever happens to me, blank. You have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Are there hidden eyeballs somewhere here? Apparently. Komeji is trying to get on an airplane. His expression is so... dead. Toma, get in position to show Komeji a cue card. Uh... Call out to people nearby? Hello, everyone! Andy's Komeji is in your town! Hey, look! I'll come back over and over again! So true! He's coming back over and over again! Why are you so excited about this? Hey, everyone! Andy's Komeji is talking! Give me some kind of reaction! Ah, crap. That's enough. I'm getting off. Oh. Poor Komeji guy. Komeji got off. Yeah, he got off. I wanted him to go around a little more. <laughs> Okay. Ryuki. Uh, I Bali. Jump off the plane? You want me to get off head first? What kind of joke is that? Is that funny? Like Daedalus and Nocrates' son, I don't got no wax wings. <laughs> I'll tell you, that one would be pretty nasty. You might even say Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I actually kind of found that one funny. <laughs> you only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Ryuki. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. One more round. What? Another? Uh, what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money. You're nowhere close. Going round and round again, Komeji. You're stuck doing laps for us just like this plane ride. Kameji oh, had man. a hard time getting away from these shady characters. I'm guessing he could only pay off the interest. Crap! I forgot my bow tie! Oh! He hey, literally just jumped he off! What is this? If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory! This is my gold medal. What did Komeji find? I'm going after him. Oh boy. Wonder what it was. There he is. What? Is this? Oh crap. Well, that is, uh, hmm. Should not have used the, uh, other thing. Take! Oh. I take this with me. They'll have to pay me. There's no way they want this getting found. And it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. Uh, <laughs> it's just sitting there practically begging me to take it. If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now. What did he find? Meiji took something home in his suitcase. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? Well... Oh, we're about to find out, I guess.
that eyeballs gain. Ah. I don't want to be found. Let's quickly go back to his house then. See what's in his suitcase. Smiles for tears. Chapter 3, Ryuki, Round 1. Mr. Komeji, I've taken a look inside your mind. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? What were you doing at Horidori Institute? What's the connection between gun trafficking and your debt? What did you find on the rooftop? What was that gun you had to traffic? Okay, he's just not answering. Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. Shoma, can you protect him? You want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. Okay. Ryuki, I have Shoma safely under custody. I'll put him on the line. Dad! Shoma, are you okay? No! Cops came and put me in the car, and now they're driving me to the station. I see. What did you do, Dad? The police are after you now? I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. <sighs> I'm sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... Alright, Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Well, okay then. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? Okay. So, why did you have that gun? About what you said earlier. I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee deep in some dangerous business and I thought I needed a way to protect myself. Yes, I, I've dead. racked up a huge amount of debt. I've been getting hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy Skumeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't have oh. money, you owe it one month. We're taking him and selling him overseas. Oh, shit. In my clear. I couldn't talk to the police. You're right. Gangsters selling guns and I was an accomplice. It was all for money, but... I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot. But I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money I make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. Oh. Does Santa really exist? You become Santa. Down the chimney? It's gonna damage my hairy. <laughs> what are you doing oh, in the Horde wow. Institute? The thing on the rooftop of Misaton. You know about it, don't you? Yes. You walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horidori Institute somehow? Mr. Ryuki, uh, please take a look at this. If he pulls out the gun that he had a while ago, I said, okay, no. <laughs> Come to Horidori Institute today. If you give it back, you'll be rewarded. A message. Look at the sender. Yeah. Terror. A message from terror. Dahlia. Komeji, what's going on here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? That thing I found belonged to terror. That's what he was talking about in the message. Oh, damn. Are you damn. saying you tried to blackmail terror? I guess so. Anyway, that's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. But there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there. And then you showed up. Oh, damn. What is the it in denial message? Do you still intend to hide things from me? <sighs> Come on, buddy. Mr. Komeji, I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to terror? Mm. Fine. I'll ask a different question. Where is it now? 
will you bring me with you? If you do, I'll tell you. That sounds a little bit suspicious. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. You left this something so that dangerous? It's actually confusing. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. So, where can I find it? Oh, inside right. the robot. Uh, <laughs> where was it? I must be getting old. I'm having trouble remembering. Mr. Komeji, please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. I know, but what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. Is it in the robot? X-ray. There are only futons inside. I doubt Terror had an interest in this. Is it inside the weird flush? Take the living room first. Okay, fine. Toolbox. Robot. I Trophy. got that when I won first place. Wisdom. So this is precious to Komeji. It seems unrelated to Terror, though. Is Maybe it in the doll? This? You think this is what Terror was after? Could be inside it. X-ray. Hmm. Nothing stands out. TV. Remote control. Kotatsu. X-ray. Uh... Something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. Okay. After we checked our information, we didn't find anything we might be looking for. Mr. Komeji, are you really sure it's here? Yes, it should be. How strange. Where could it have gone? I don't Maybe. trust you Look one bit. I knew it. I thought so. What He's is lying. He thinking? I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me. Oh boy. Oh. Huh? Why are you all here? Ryuki! You left Shoma at Abyss HQ, didn't you? How awful of you to leave him all by himself! Uh... Miss Iris, Miss Mame, and I were having dinner at Yurakucho. Then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questiony. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. This is bad! It's a super mega big deal! That's what we all were thinking, so we had it over. But oh he boy. was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. They all know Shoma? Seems so. Shoma and Mizuki go to the same elementary school, so that's probably how they're all connected. Fair Keep enough. Keep it up already, Dad! I already hated you for being unfunny, pathetic, and unpopular, and now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But it was all for you. Stop making excuses! You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it! I'm sick of it! Shoma... Dad... Dad, you should just die already! Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh! Oh, shit. What? What is it? Come to Devita alone? Oh, crap! <sighs> This could be an opportunity, Ryuki. If we go to Devita, maybe we can catch Terror. Mr. Komeji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Devita, alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. And once he shows up, you appear. Are you sure? Yes. I'll be the bait. This is the least I can do after what I've done. Oh, man. He probably doesn't care if he dies anymore because Shoma said that. Meiji went into the studio alone. Before he did, he started a video call on his smartphone. I hid out of sight, watching the video and waiting for something to sh happen, but no matter how long I waited, it didn't seem like Terry would show up. Eventually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, Ryuki, look away! <laughs> Ryuki, look away! 
Damn it. Ryuki, are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? Uh, what... what happened? Oh boy. Oh good, you're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Wait, where's Tama? Why are you here? We will explain later. First, can you tell us what happened here? I don't know. I started seeing things. Then I lost consciousness. Okay, Tama's still there. Oh, Tama. Okay. Ooh, I managed to come back. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back. And I was short circuited. Oh. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self repair program. Huh, handy. Did Terror do this? I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything after you lost control of your bladder. You mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, where is Komeji? I don't see him here. Oh boy. No, Shoma, don't open that. You're gonna be traumatized for life. I can't afford your psychology bill. That's probably your father. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Mr. Komeji, why? Because he didn't show up on his own? Yeah, he's just sleeping. We're fine. I mean, it's a, it's like half his body, but like, you know, who need who even needs the other half of your body? Hello, Andrew. How are you? <laughs> well, uh, you guys are all going to need a lot more therapy than you had a while ago. Oh shit, Shoma would be taking this significantly worse because he just a while ago he said he wished his dad was dead. Wink sync. I can't wink sync now. Not enough battery. Okay. You okay? Of course he's not okay. Komeji was his father. What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? See anyone? Ryuki, step ladder. you should talk to the others first. Okay, I can't look at the step ladder. <laughs> it's the right half of Kameji's body. I think it's safe to say terror is the culprit. Yep. Hello, Takashi. Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for joining. How are ya? Let's see. I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida, so I got worried and came over. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours <gasps> Thank after you, you left Thank you so much for decided. the membership. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. Okay, are you okay? I guess so. No, I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. I don't even remember what time we got into the studio. <laughs> it wasn't that helping. is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. I was tied up? Rope? <laughs> Must be that one over there. Oh, okay. I was tied up with that? Yeah, your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. So, Kizzy and I untied the rope. How did you get um, here? Well... Ah, there you are! Oh, boy. Here you are, the receipt for your card payment. Yeah, buddy, don't turn around, don't look into that bag. Oh, thank you. Uh, Excuse me, 
But who are you? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here? Indeed. That is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player. So I smashed it with my fist. Um... This guy is really suspicious. Okay, why are you telling me this? That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment... He said that the girl with the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out, so it was... Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was... I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's, ah. but she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. Okay. Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. Just like, try not to look at that thing in your peripheral vision on your way out, you'll, you'll get traumatized. <laughs> you'll see like half a corpse. <laughs> Ryuki, let's talk to everyone before checking the body. Fine, fine. Uh, did you see anyone? 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 Do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? No. We did not see a single soul. I see. Y yes, Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mommy was already inside. Yeah, she ran out of the taxi immediately. What is it, Ryuki? Does something bother you about that? No, it's nothing. Oh, what if she's the, uh... What if she's the culprit? <laughs> a mommy. You okay? Mame already saw Kameji's corpse. She must be in shock. She's in no state to talk. You see anyone? I see. No one saw anything. All those mannequins behind a frickin' stage. Scary as all hell. Tama, have you contacted Abyss at HQ? Well, oh, Prius, one breath of fire? Hell yeah. I Way love breath of, of fire. You. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. How do you even, like, how do you even help people get through that? Like, hey, a man you were just talking to a while ago got split in half with all his organs missing. <laughs> Shoma? Are you okay? I'm also surprised it took him that long to react. Shoma, wait! Don't just stand there, Ryuki. Go after him. R right. It's okay, kid. People lose their fathers all the time. I mean, you, you typically don't see their dead bodies mutilated, like, cut straight in half, but like, you know. <laughs> Plenty of people have grown up without fathers and turned out okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> By the time I ran out of studio, Shomo was already gone. The other three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. Thought it would be better to search a wider area and got in my car, but... I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in the state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go? I got it. Shoma must be there. Is it the, uh, is it the ferris wheel? Yeah, I knew it. Shoma? Shoma, no! Shoma! Well, we're gonna have to try and climb that, I think. Well, no big deal. It's a ferris wheel. 
He'll come back down if we just wait. I don't think he's going to come back down the conventional way. Something else is going to happen here. Ryuki, chapter 4, R1. Well known. Yeah. I can't imagine this is going to end well. What if he just disappears instead? Anyway, this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. On the other timeline... Shoma still had his father and got a chocolate from the girl he was crushing on. Oh, but I don't really care about that right now. How can you not care? More importantly, Shoma was on the number two car, right? Why do you ask? Because. Yes, he definitely went in number two. I thought so. <laughs> he went to number if that's two. that's the case, he should be back soon. Uh, he ain't there anymore. No. How? He isn't in any of them. What the actual crap happened? Shema's gonna be dead. Shema's gonna be dead. We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. And yet... Oh boy, what's going on? Uh, hold on! Uh, don't tell me it's happening again! Oh, well, okay. Time to get Google Translate out. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. The thread of the work is the same. Oh, wait, what? The connection between the two parts is the same as that of the previous one. Wait, did it just change the translation? The ropes and the ropes are the same as the ro What the fuck? Why does it keep changing the translation every time I scan it? The connection between the two parts is as follows. When the work is completed, you will receive a response. And something, something, something blank. It's not just... No, no, no. These are a bunch of kanji, isn't it? Because, like, look, there's a go right here. And pictures. If you would like to read the details of the thread, please read the following thread. What? Hang on. You're saying it's Chinese. Let's see if... Let's detect language. Yeah, it's saying Japanese. No, Chinese. Shagong silk. Wait, what? No, it's Japanese, yes. If you want to use a rope or a handshake, you can use it to connect rope or a rope. What the f The translation changes every time. Whatever. Violet is on the rope. The violet is on the rope. The violet is connected to the top of the violet. The violet rope is threaded. What? Violet on silk on silk. Silk on. Okay, the translation keeps on changing. The spider's net is writhed, and the strings of the rope are tied together. The thread is woven. 
This is so fucking weird. This whole BS frickin' cryptid posting. What in the crap? <laughs> you know, I think you should be more concerned about what's happening. <laughs> Tama, do you know about this place? I heard about it from Mr. Date. This shrine worships a fruit called the Fruit of Immortality. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. Hey, Ryuki, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. Wow, thanks, Tama. <laughs> you haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. You should really see somebody. I'm fine. Coming to this shrine has calmed me down. Coming here doesn't solve anything. Praying to a god or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart. Please, Ryuki. Okay, then. You want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Devita right now? Ryuki. I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. Jesus Christ, his, uh, his character profile's gone super deranged. No, I have to solve it for Komeiji. Especially now that he's... Oh, sheesh, you're really... Fine, I'll do it. But promise me that after the investigation, you'll... Yes, I'll go get checked out. Promise, okay? Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes. Let's do this. All right. Whew. Investigation time. So, what did you want to investigate here? Something's been bothering me. You see that camera on the tripod that's tipped over? When we got here... It wasn't like that. Why did it fall over? Could it have been terror? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. Mame? When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. Iris, Kizuna, Mame, and Shoma. The first one to go into the studio was... A Mame. That's what Iris and Kizuna said. Are you suggesting a mommy tipped over the camera? It's entirely possible. But why would she do that? That's what I'm going to figure out. Okay. Virtual reality activation. Oh, hey, the Tamagotchi's right. What ability do you want? Telepathy, time control, x-ray vision, future sight. Time control. What the rock? What the f <laughs> What the hell? This Tamagotchi's busted. I think I got the wrong Tamagotchi. It really isn't standing up. Yeah. Could it be the alcohol's fault? It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Monitor. That one video was playing on the monitor. This is where you lost consciousness. And me, right after. Okay. There's a power cord on that table. I think it's for the electric kettle. Probably means the kettle was here. Let's see. The kettle is on the floor. Must have fallen off the table. I wonder how it fell. Someone did a pile driver on it. Either that or it was bumped or something. <laughs> Let's see. There is a rope. It's the rope that had you in the tortoise shell bondage position. Tortoise shell? No, that's not true. Oh? Was it a crab tie? God damn it, Thomas! Calm your freaking horny AI ass up! No. no crabs, no tortoises, no shrimp, nothing. Anyway, look at the rope. There's a fake nail. It matches what a mommy had on. Is that she was the one who tried to unbind, unbind me? Camera. Not tipped over. Mag interception broadcast. Camera. Orbs. What's the estimated time of death? Roughly an hour and a half ago. Based on the time the body was discovered, of course. So roughly 10 p.m., February 13th. We uh. woke up here around 11.30 p.m. Couldn't have been any of the four then. platform oh there's a natural a natural heat source reaction let's see thermo oh what are these 
Thought water. Water is wetter than my. Please don't even say it. Would you prefer the word moist? <laughs> I think there was hot water in the kettle. It must have been in keep warm mode. That must have fell and. Hot water spilled near kettle. Good the friends. from the water. Seeing that it's still warm, the prince couldn't be more than a few minutes old by the time this data was gathered. So right before we regained consciousness? Yeah. Can you tell me whose prince they are? Judging from the shape and size, absolutely a mommy's. The prince lead to the door over there. The door on the west side. Okay, weird. Huh. Check the door in front of the footprints. There we the go. The door on the west side of the building is locked. I don't think we can open it from this side. Are there any other exits? The only other door is the door to the east. The one we entered from. So, east and west. Just the two exits. The complete opposite corners, might I add. I'm trying to piece this together in my head. Okay. It looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. I think I can make one conclusion. Oh? Care to share what that is? First, think about what Mame did when she first entered the studio. What did she do? Well, she would have probably... She would have had to tie me up. Judging or, from uh, trail, untie me, sorry. I think she came to me first. She couldn't have come to me after stepping in the warm water, because if she did, she would have left, left prints. Prints, yeah. Mommy's fake nails. So the first thing she did must have been to try to untie me. That's when a bit of her nail broke and stuck to the rope. But then, something happened that stopped her. Something? I'll tell you later. Anyway, she stopped trying to untie me. Where did she go from there? Okay. Then she would have tripped on the Here. camera pod. Mommy must have been in a hurry. She tipped over the camera by accident. And then what? Where did Amame go next? She came here next. Tripped over the electric kettle. When the hot water spilled on the floor. Whoops. Mommy ran into the table, which caused the ke kettle and to then? fall. Then she went through this door and locked it behind her. Well, if we trace her footprints, they stopped right in front of the western door. But the door was locked and it didn't open, so she couldn't get out. Then... Wait, that doesn't make sense. If she couldn't get out, then... Tama, do you have any ideas why Mame stopped trying to untie me? Mm-hmm, I sure do. But continue. I want to hear what you're thinking. Okay, here's my answer. It's simple, actually. I think Mame saw Terror into the studio. Oh. While she was untying me, Terror came across the scene. They ran over to her to try to take her out. That's why the body was left in such an unnatural position. I see. We're on the same page. Oh. There are still some question marks, but... Well, putting that thread aside for now, shall we get started? Start what? Billy the reenactment. <laughs> God damn it, Tama. Again? You got a problem? So... Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. I said no. Ready? Action! All right, here we go. I'm going to cast you as a mame. Recreate her movements. Let's start with when she first ran into the studio. Her first move was... Shitty actor. Well, what did you expect? Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Step out of it! This is when her nail fell off. Mame tried to untie the rope and. Oh, Terror That's just terror prepared the body. Since Terror is blocking the east door, she, she can't, can't go, go that, that way. way. So she tried to run to the other door. Okay, let's see your. Performance. <laughs> Why do you make me do this? Okay, go on. <laughs> Why do you make me do this? And then run, run into the, the camera. camera. Then run into the, the table. table. Drop the and kettle. And that drops the kettle. She discovers the west door is completely locked.
Was it always locked, though? Cut! You were doing so well. Ah. We're still missing something. Anyway, she was cornered and... Huh. What happened after that? This is what I was trying to get at earlier. And one more thing. When you asked Amame if she saw the culprit, she shook her head. Why did she lie? Hey, Tama. You collected all the data in this studio, right? Including X-Ray? Yeah. In that case... Let's X-Ray, then. Oh, shit! I knew it. What? Terror? I think so. So when we regained consciousness, they were in the studio? That must be the case. Wait. You didn't notice, Tama? I thought you had x-ray vision. I thought it was part of the set. Anyway, they have a gun? Yeah, a 50 caliber automatic handgun. That could do some real damage. Oh, man. This next bit is just speculation, but... Terror headed to the western door and cornered Mame, but then must have... Heard footsteps coming from the other door. Oh, yeah, because the other guys are still here. Iris, Kizuna, and Shoma. Of course, Terror probably had no idea who they were. Terror must have said something like, Don't tell them I'm here. If you do, I'll shoot you. Then they hid in the set since their only escape route was cut off. That's why Amame lied. She couldn't have said anything with Terror threatening her. Probably. Oh, damn. Holy crap. What a shame. Terror was right there, but we couldn't get them. There was nothing we could have done. Shoma was the top priority. So what you're saying is if Shoma hadn't run away, we would have actually been able to figure out who Terror was? Anyway, there's only one thing we need to do. Let's find Mame. She saw Terror in person. She's a key witness now. Maybe she has some information. Something about Terror we don't know. Maybe a voice or how they walk. Hey, Tama. Where is Mame? I don't know. Her smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. Oh, that sucks. I asked Tom to call Kizuna, Iris, and Gen. They asked if they knew where Mame was. None of them picked up. Hold on a second. What about your promise? Fine. I'll get checked. And I want to talk to Shoma. He's at home now, right? At least that's what Thomas said before I came to the shrine. I have no idea how Shoma was able to get out of the Ferris wheel. I don't know if it's related to all this, but I had a strong desire to find out. So we have three objectives. Finding Amame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma. Right? Yeah. Fine. We'll tag along. Not to mention today is special for partners. Valentine's Day. What do you mean? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> okay, Central Hospital. Let's go get ourselves checked. Get our heads right, you know? Uh oh. That ain't good. I'm glad we had an open room for you. It's quiet here. You should be able to relax and focus on your treatment. Treatment? Oh, you don't have to worry about the paperwork for your stay here. We'll handle everything. Uh, hold on. My stay here? What are you talking about? Hmm? You don't remember? Remember huh? what? Hmm. This is troubling. What? Wait, wait. <laughs> Doctor! You shouldn't! You shouldn't be doing this at the hospital. Uh... Put your ball away! Excuse me? No playing Kusimon Go in the hospital. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Okay. That did not lead where I thought it would. <laughs> okay. They're standing there. Stay at the hospital. Mr. Ryuki, do you remember getting a checkup? I'm sure the doctor would have told you everything. No, I have no idea. I see. Then I'm afraid I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. Mr. Ryuki, 
You have what we call cognitive dysfunction. Sometimes you'll forget what time it is or where you are, even lose track of the people around you. It's all part of your condition. In addition to that, we believe that you have a short-term memory disorder. Tama, is this true? Yes, it is. This is difficult for me to say, but your condition is very serious. We need to begin treatment immediately. I probably should have asked who she was. Oh wait, no, I can still ask, yeah. Um, I'm going to get the files. I'll be right back, so please wait here. Excuse me. I forgot to ask the nurse who she was. Okay, I went to the hospital like I promised. Now let's get going, Tama. What are you talking about? That nurse told you that you need to stay here. I don't have time for that. I need to solve this case. Please, Tama, just three more days. I refuse. Fine, just one day. 24 hours is all I ask. Please let me do this. Please. I'll give you some chocolate later. She's an AI. Are you joking? You know I can't eat chocolate. No, I mean like emotional chocolate. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Ah, fine. But you're only getting 24 hours. Not a second longer. Thanks, Tama. <sighs> I forgot to ask the nurse what her name was. Damn it. Could have been useful. Dahlia. I still remember. The name was Dahlia. For, uh, what's it called? Terror. Alright, let's go to Marvel. Ned Marvel. <laughs> Hello again, you creepy uh, mama. Welcome. We aren't open yet, though. I've got something for you, Ryuki. And that is... What? It's hard, and it'll leave a mess all over your hands. It's chocolate. I know exactly what mama's talking about. It's chocolate. That's what I was going to say. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I wanted all my customers to get some. God damn it. <laughs> you're, 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 you're just full of innuendos, aren't you, Mama? Wink sink. Oh, you want to know why there are two balls? This way, I have a spare if one stops working. But why would you use them both at the same time? I really had to pause for her finger movements, huh? I don't follow. Did she get into trouble? She may have come into contact with terror. She might have valuable information. Well, okay then. Let's ask the big milky balls. Oh my fuck. Could you call them something else? Please. Oh, mighty balls. <laughs> Who has the softest, bounciest skin in all the land? God damn it, mama. Mama, of course. That's right. Oh, <laughs> you know it. Who gives a shit? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> now, serious mode this time. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find someone for me. Her name is Amame Doi. Where is she right now? You should go to the Nice Japan branch. Whoa! You should gain some valuable information. How was it? Thanks, that was helpful. The nice Japan branch. Are you going to take her seriously? I mean, did you hear the change in voice? And the sudden echo? Not necessarily, but it won't hurt to check, right? Okay, uh... Oh, I'm just, uh... I like getting into holes, if you know what I mean. And well, that's my cue to leave. What are you talking about? Oh, don't make me say it. You mean... Spelunking. That has nothing to do with the bar counter. Yeah, that's my cue. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Wait, do you have any information on the HP case? In oh, I saw something online. There's this creepy video going around. Do you know about it? Are you talking about the Nirvana trial? No, not that one. There's another one. The QR it video? It was released at midnight. Oh. It's called Nirvana, Nirvana X. X. 
eggs? That's right. Ryuki, I looked it up. Once again, the original uploader is anonymous. It's just like that QR video. I thought it might have something to do with the HB case. Mama, did you watch the video? Yeah. I have it saved on my smartphone. Wanna see? No, Ryuki. Don't do it. Something bad might happen again. The VQ videos that have been released so far have not included anything that would induce subliminal effect, but that doesn't mean they're safe. There's a possibility that there's a special production technique that only works on people like Ryuki who have suffered some kind of trauma. A subliminal effect is a phenomenon in which a stimulus is given below the threshold of human perception, causing unconscious desires and emotion to arise in the person. <clears throat> Thanks for the chocolate. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Thanks for the chocolate. I appreciate it. Don't thank me, honey. Just don't forget to get me something on White Day. What do you want? Um, well, you can return the favor. Meaning? Something hard that will leave a mess oh all over my. my hands. Fucking God, just say chocolate! <laughs> just Please. say chocolate! You innuendo machine! Yuki! Okay then, I'm going to stream it on the screen over there. It's probably better to watch it on a bigger screen. Might have been safer to do to not do that actually. Okay, here we go. Okay. Click it, click. All right. More cryptid posting. All right, take care, Takashi. Five one two zero zero two one five one two zero two one five one two zero. What did I tell you? I warned you. Uh huh? I think I'm okay. Yeah, don't scare me like that. Did it say? About Nirvana Judging by X. the name, it's gotta have something to do with the Nirvana Initiative. The incidents at Shinjuku might be related to it. What incidents? Well, one example is what happened with that rocket. Luckily, there weren't any casualties. What anyway, rocket? I think that was like a test run for the Initiative. But we don't know anything for sure. Where the actual show will happen? Who's behind it and why? We don't know any of the details. We do huh. have a clue as to when, though. Hmm? The Nirvana X video. Two there were five. two codes on there. One of them was 215-1200. 215 That's seven, right? I think it's a date and a time. February 15th, 12 p.m. Oh. Oh. February 2, 15 at 12 Yeah, uh, noon tomorrow. The date and time when the Nirvana Initiative will begin. There's not much time. What about the letters? Not sure about that one. C C F G G D A E I G A H E. The numbers represented a time and date, so I'm guessing those were for a location. Huh. The location. I trying to think of hmm. what it could be. We have a lot to think about now. Let's get a move on. Yeah, my brain's too small to figure that out. <laughs> what would you do if you saw any... What should I do if I see a UFO? Get on! <laughs> Amazing! Jump power! Almost as much as Mizuki! Okay. Let's see. Let's head on over then. Uh, but before that... Uh, let's see if we can go talk to Shoma first. Hey! 
Don't get in the Kotatsu without permission. Oh, sorry. It's cold out, and I'm cold. What are you doing here? I wanted to ask a few things, but before that, Shoma... Um... No, never mind. Don't worry about it. I decided not to ask him about what happened in his studio. It would be cruel to remind him. Not to mention, I didn't want him running off again. Probably best to be to avoid talking to Komeiji and the interrogation from the cops I wanted to ask about. How are you doing, buddy? Dad. Dad, I shouldn't have said that you should die. It's all my fault. <laughs> Show my. Oh, it doesn't help that he's currently believing in Nice's beliefs where, like, with simulation theory, where you can, like, you can say some things and suddenly they materialize. Yeah? Do you know where she is? I have no idea. About the code for BATS 490. Shoma, you still haven't told me why you lied. Lied? About the code for BATS 490. That wasn't referring to Horidori Institute, but you said it was. Sheesh, can you just let it go? I didn't solve the code. You're lying. I'm sorry, Shoma. This might be hard for you. But can you tell me about Komeiji? Komeiji picked something up at the rooftop amusement park in Misaton. Something that is meaningful or significant to terror. But he didn't tell me what it was. I thought you might know something. Sorry, but I have no clue. I see. How'd you get out of that Ferris wheel? What are you talking about? The Ferris wheel at Misaton. I didn't go to Misaton. What? what? That's impossible. What the heck? I definitely saw you get on the Ferris wheel. Maybe you saw my doppelganger? Or maybe my clone. Your clone? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I mean, we may have the technology for it, but... I've never heard of any human clones. Not to mention, it's forbidden by law. The law doesn't mean anything. Not to a psycho like Chikara. What do you mean? Right, because he experimented on you, didn't he? Yeah, they're researching cloning, so maybe they secretly made my clone. Impossible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding about Horidori Institute researching cloning. Just about cloning me. How do you explain the Ferris wheel, then? Maybe you were seeing things. Seeing things? Maybe you got the TC Purge. Purge? What is that? Last year, they invented a way to edit genes. Purge. Purge was developed by Horidori Institute. TC Purge is kind of like a virus. Oh. People at Horidori Institute called it the organic nanomachine. It acts kind of the way a virus does. When it enters the body, it latches onto bacteria, and a protein complex called CRISPR-Cas beta is made. Hey, <laughs> CRISPR. CRISPR-Cas beta can cut, move, and attach certain DNA nucleotide sequences. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make ah. you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And on top of that, TC purge multiplies in the body. It takes over the multiplication functions of bacteria and makes copies of itself. You are way too smart to be... How are you again? It can pass to other people with your breath. Show my. Like 12? Well, there's just some stuff. It's because you work for Nice. And you ended up being used by Ryuki, the Horidori we Institute. We can hold off on Horidori Institute. We need to prioritize. Yeah, we need to find Mame. Okay. <laughs> About, uh. Ramen World Cuisine. Let's try it. A Mame. Yeah, have you seen her? She was here earlier. Really? She left pretty quick, though. Why didn't you pick I up was the phone? so busy today. We're expecting a lot of customers, so I have a lot of prep to do. Why are you expecting a rush? You know about what happened in Shinjuku yesterday? We're actually pretty close to there. A rocket? That's right. So, anyway, there's tons of people around here now. I thought some of them might stop by here. Ah. She said she was headed to Iris's house. The Sagan household, huh? Thanks. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but... Her, she told me earlier. Wait, what? Her phone is what now? Her phone's out of battery, okay. Why are you looking for a mommy? I can't tell him there's a reason to believe mommy ran into terror. I don't want him to worry about her. I'll well, it off. Uh, you see... Why it's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? Well, she brought some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? 
Mom may sell terror at the studio, but after that she saw Kameiji's body, but she still brought Gen chocolate? Hmm. I wonder if Gen is the terror. No, terror is female. Call Iris, but still no dice. We should just head to the Sargon household. Yeah, good idea. Uh, well, let's go straight to the Saigon residence for now. Hey, it's Iris's mother. I remember you. Thought they tried I'm to sorry. hit on you. I think you're just one step behind. Mame was here. God damn it! <laughs> but she left with Iris to go somewhere. I see. All right. Wink, sing. I'm sorry, Mame. Iris is taking a long time to get ready. Mame? Oh? Hmm. I'm not sure. They didn't tell me where they were going. What about Date? Date and Hitomi had a deep relationship. I know Why that. Do you ask? Well, um... I haven't seen Date in a while. I've been waiting for him, but... I'm sorry to ask such a delicate question. No, it's okay. Anything off about Anything Iris and Mame? Anything off about them? Like a state of shock or panic, maybe? Let me think. Iris seemed normal, but I do recall Mame seemed troubled. She didn't say a word while she was here. Like Aww. her head was somewhere else. While Iris was preparing to leave, she just stared off into the distance. Ah oh, man. Sorry to have wasted your time. There's no such thing as wasting time when you're investigating. Even the most insignificant piece of information could be relevant. Ryuki, I've never seen you so positive. Maybe you're a good influence on me. Aww. Let's get going. We need to find Mame. Tea. Low table. Shelves. Flower. Picture. Window. Fan. Light. Dining set. Bookshelf. Lamp. Mysterious object. Shoebox. Entrance. Lock. Sofa. Cushion. Teaching materials. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Kumakura office. Let's see if Kumakura has anything. What up, Tessa fanboy? Hey, Ryuki. What's up? I wanted to ask you something. Wink sing. Oh shit, a shooting star. I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate. God damn it. Damn it, I couldn't sit a third one in time. <laughs> you talking about a mom made doy? Tessa's friend. So you know her? Of course. I know everything about Tessa. So what about Mame? She might have some valuable information about the case. I'm trying to find her. Do you happen to know where she is? Sorry. I got no idea. What's wrong with your AI, you know? I see. How are you Not doing? Bad. Tonight, Tessa is gonna have a Valentine's Day stream. Yeah, hello, hi, you know. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for joining. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy your stay. Oh, thinking about it makes my heart dance. Oh, I'm so excited. Ask for information oh, on the HP asking. case. Yakuza have connections all throughout the underworld, so I thought you might know something. Oh. Anything would help. Rumors? Anything. Rumors, huh? So our parent group, the Ujisaki, there's this higher up that's connected to Nice. I uh. did hear something from him. The president of Nice Japan? Tokiko Shigure? She was in a relationship with the head of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. The Ujisaki family's a diabolical criminal group. They basically earned their income through illegal activities in the underground world. But they also seem to be receiving requests for work from secret societies. It means that they have connections to the Freemasons. You know, Freemasons, a fraternal society said to have created, have been created in the late 16th or 17th century. They have members all over the world. They call each other brother, and they operate from the Grand Lodge, their headquarters. The symbol of their fraternity is a builder's square and a compass, a, the tools of masonry. Oh, and one more thing, the Eye of Providence is also famous. It's a triangle with the shape of an ion in it. You mean the Illuminati? 
That design is also considered one of the symbols of the Freemasonry. By the way, there's a story that the Boy Scouts of America was also created by the Freemasons. The Boy Scouts of America is ostensibly an organization that seeks to improve the character of its members to make good people even better. But actually, <laughs> I guess Tama shorted out. What? Of course, this isn't recent. We're talking decades ago. Okay. Back then, Tokiko wasn't even the boss. She was just some grunt at Nice. But Jakara, on the other hand, was pretty high up the ladder at Nice. Used his newfound power to get with Tokiko. Oh. Back when she was in her 20s, I <laughs> heard she was a hottie. But like I said, she was young and naive. Jakara basically tricked her. Oh shit, she did give birth before. Did Jakara knock her up? He was married at the time. Even had kids. Tokiko was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. Oh shit. Yeah, that's all I know about that. But I do have some more dirt on Chikara. This was also decades ago. But Chikara went to child service agencies all over Japan and got something from him. What? DNA samples. Huh? He said it's for DNA treatment or something. But I don't buy it. My guess is he was doing something shady. Horidori Institute was real sketchy back then. Hmm. Hmm. Tokiko and Chikara in an illegitimate relationship. And Chikara getting kids' DNA. Hmm. Let's figure it out later. We still need to find Mame. Man, he is real fucked up. Well, let's go to Nice Branch. Maybe we should have gone to uh, the Yoyagi part first? It was two days ago that Tokiko's body was found here. The investigation is still ongoing. So, what are you planning on doing here? Mame wouldn't be here. I didn't come here expecting to find Mame. You should go to the Nice Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. What He's valuable information, information could be here? I don't know. But let's look around. Let's see. Hey, it's the inspector! Wink thing. Mm, this has become a difficult situation. Oh. Uh. There are many factors to consider, taking into account probability and all. Well, what dating app should I use? <laughs> Just use all of them, man. Ask his name! That's how it's gonna be. Well, I suppose it's not that bad. Is this getting a little too scripted? It's what the people want. Anyway, my name is Kagami. That's my line. <laughs> huh? Did you forget already? <sighs> Fine. My name is Kagami. Okay, but what's your name again? Ka. K A. Ga. G A. Me. M I. I already know his name, I don't think I need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name, probably don't need to ask uh, his name. What was it again? Very well, Mr. Ryuki, you can give me a nickname. That way, you won't forget. A nickname, nickname. Huh? Something easy to remember would be good, right? Exactly. How about Kagami? That's an easy <laughs> nickname to remember. <laughs> it really is a shame. She was killed right before her birthday. Tokiko's birthday is February 15th. Oh, okay. There's a huge party planned for her here. It really is such a shame. Damn. Oh, Do you know this girl? Her name is Amame Doi. Oh, I know her. She's a mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. That's true, but... How do you, How do you know, know that? that? Oh, um, well, I've been there a few times. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. That's uh, a tough scene. Uh, Do you know where she is now? Uh, no, I wouldn't know. I can tell you that she isn't working right now, though. I heard from another girl that she hasn't been feeling well recently. Right. Yeah. It's unlikely that she'd be at Sunfish Pocket. 
Mame saw terror at the studio. And right after that, she saw Komeiji's body. Any chances she'd also be back at the studio again? It's unlikely she'd be at work with all that going on. Let's see. Thomas Trivia, the image of Amame that appeared on Ryuki's hand. That was a hologram shout out of my left shout out for my left eye, my main body. How cool am I, huh? Very cool, Tama. Love your work. Laptop PC. Office desk. Window. Pond. Waterfall. Door. Regulation line. Statue. More statue. Police officer. Any new intel? Yeah, there isn't anything here. How are it's you? It's all right now, because I am here. Half might. <laughs> Northern Mariana Island. Smash! Oh my God! He responded. <laughs> Mommy. It's this girl. Hmm. Don't recognize her. All right. <laughs> I'm so happy he responded like that. Nice symbol, house plant, house plant. Okay, let's talk to the. Did you search the space downstairs? Mm -hmm. You talking about the underground cathedral? It's off limits right now. There's concerns that it might collapse. So you don't know about the box? The box? There was a box there with a strange looking device. Tama, can you show the image? Sorry, I don't have it. What? Ryuki, when you went to the cathedral, you fall off the bridge, remember? The impact caused me to lose some of my own. I was only able to recover up to finding Tokiko's body in the president's office. No backups? Because it was so deep underground, there was no signal down there. Come to think of it, there were some network problems. Right. Exactly. So I couldn't upload the data to the cloud. Damn. Okay, any clues? It's not a lead office? or anything, but it is interesting. What is? It's gonna take some time to prepare. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Oh, okay. Ryuki, I'm ready. Oh, That's what okay. I mentioned to you earlier. Oh, please go ahead. Look at that pond over there. Uh huh. Oh. Is that? It's Tokiko's hologram. Her laptop was in the desk. There was a program running. This. I think it's some software aimed at these cultists. Needless to say, it's just an image, so she can't really interact with you. But she does talk, lectures even. If you give her a topic, she'll give some pre-recorded response. You can choose from four. Did she make an AI? Moksha, game, form is emptiness, and the allegory of the cave. There's other data in there too somewhere, but it'll take time to get at. Now she just turned insult. She just turned herself into an NPC. Okay. Moksha. Moksha, or enlightenment. One is only truly free when free from all desires. But this state of mind is not something that can be easily defined or described in words. It is implicit knowledge. It is not something you can understand without experiencing it for yourself. Imagine, for example, someone who has never seen the color red. It is impossible to explain to that person what the color red is. You can't truly understand the redness of the color red until you experience it. That's true. Moksha is similar in this way. So how can you reach Moksha? Among Hindu followers are those known as the Sadhu. They follow a strict spiritual path of penance in an attempt to reach Moksha. For example, one may stand on just one leg for decades, or try to roll across the entire Indo-Chinese continent. One may live on a bed of nails. Another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands of times. Among Buddhists, there are the ascetics. They perform a thousand-day circumambulation, walking 30 miles a day around steep mountains. And they chant the mantras without pausing to eat, drink, or even sleep for nine whole days. I have to imagine... Wait, I thought you could only survive like seven days maximum without food or water. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma, sat cross-legged facing a wall without rest for nine years straight. But how do all these things achieve moksha? Is it because pain and penance cause your desires and thoughts to dull and disappear? That may be part of it. 
Or is it perhaps the state of nothingness that comes over you upon achieving these feats? One may come to the conclusion that desires themselves are illusory. Knives has a slightly different interpretation. Do you know how a debugger finds bugs in games? They have playtesters? They try to run into walls over and over and over again. They go to places that normal players won't go. Or leave the game on for days. They do things that normal players don't do. Unpredictable actions that the programmers failed to anticipate. That is how bugs that weren't even considered in the planning stages are found. Does this remind you of anything? Hitting your head on a pillar a thousand times. Sitting toward a wall for nine years. What if these actions were not anticipated by the creator? What if these actions uncovered bugs in the real world? What if they revealed the seeds? In other words, these practitioners of the extraordinary are trying to find the seams, find oh. them, and achieve enlightenment. Learn the secret of this world, the truth. And so we believe that moksha is this journey. Damn. Bodhidharma meditated in the... Bodhidharma meditated in the direction of the well for nine years. There have been idioms about this. Since he was in the same position for so long, his limbs rotted off, which is why the Dharma dolls sold in store look the way they look. Ah, okay. Well, that's not good! Game. This world is a simulation. Thus, its creator must have created with intention. This intention we can never know for certain, but we can surmise and we can estimate. Imagine you attempt an action. But that action is prevented by something incomprehensible to you. It is reasonable to assume that action was something not considered by the creator. Contrarily, if you attempt an action and feel yourself compelled by some otherworldly force, it is probably something the creator did expect. Like rats trapped in a maze. Go in the wrong direction and receive a shock. Go in the right direction and receive a prize. Considering this, Perhaps this simulation is actually a game. A game about escaping this inscrutable maze. Can you win this game? The creator probably wants you to. Hmm. Form is form emptiness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. So reads the doctrines in Buddhist scriptures. Emptiness is not separate from form. Form is not separate from emptiness. Whatever is form is emptiness. Emptiness is sometimes translated as void or nothingness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Everything in this world is false. False is this world to the core. Shotok Taishi, who spread Buddhism in Japan, said something similar. All is false. Buddha is truth. The first part of the quote is hmm. self-explanatory. The latter requires context. Buddha, in this instance, is being used as a substitute for the general concept of enlightenment, bodhi, satori. Thus, the quote can be interpreted to mean, the sole truth of this world is enlightenment. Everything else is a falsehood. I will give another example. The butterfly dream, a famous legend told by Shuang Tzu, one of the founders of Taoism. One day, Shuang Tzu was a butterfly in a dream. He awoke from his dream with a question. Was his being a butterfly a dream? Or is this world he awoke in a dream? Many notable people in history have had similar thoughts. These same questions have been passed down for thousands of years. The only thing I can say is my dreams are such a big mess that it's kind of like... Okay, here's the thing about my dreams. My dreams are significantly incoherent. At one point, I'm doing this and that with somebody. The next, I'm fighting a fucking sandworm <laughs> in a completely different setting. Why is that? Could there be a truth hidden in all this? The Allegory, the of, the allegory cave. of the Cave is a story first told by Plato the ancient Greek philosopher. There are prisoners imprisoned in a dark cave. 
These prisoners have never witnessed the outside world. All they can see are shadows projected on the walls in front of them. Merely the shadows of grass and trees, flocks of birds. Even families of deer would be shown from time to time. But the prisoners who have never seen the outside world believe these shadows to be the truth. Reality they do not doubt or question. One day, one of the prisoners unchains themselves and escapes the cave. They see real grass, real trees, real flocks of birds, and real deer. At that time, they saw the world as it truly is. Overwhelmed with emotion, they head back to the cave to tell the other prisoners of their discovery. Everything we've seen until now have been shadows, false images. The outside world is completely different. None of the other prisoners believe the escapee. Have they gone insane? They laugh. Do you understand this allegory? The escapee was enlightened with the truth and reached Moksha. So what about you? Do you plan to live your days chained in a cave, scraping by a living in a world of falsehood and fraud? Or do you plan to join us? The decision needs to be made. Please demonstrate your determination. Hmm. That's enough of that. Well, that sure was something. Didn't help much, though. Not necessarily. This information might come in handy later. Heh. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, thanks, Detector. De Detective. Anyway, there was no information on the Mame. Let's go somewhere else. Alright. Yoyagi Park it is, then. Let's see here. Just here to relax for a bit, clear our minds. See if Leon the creepy stalker is here. Doesn't look like the mame is here. But wait, Leon is. I fucking knew it. Leon is obsessed with Kizuna, and Kizuna is a mame's friend. Yeah, he might, he might know. know where mame is. Let's ask. Hey, Leon, what's up? Oh. You again. What's up? Do you know a girl named Amami Doi? Oh, Kizzy's friend. Of course I know her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, I do. Really? I saw her earlier. Where? Hmm, I don't know. Excuse me? Give me a hundred thousand yen and I'll think about Are it. Are you in debt? You can't be serious. I'm low on cash. Come on, Ryuki. Fine. We'll do this. Leon, do you have a 500 yen coin? Yeah. I do. I'm going to look away, and you put it in one of your hands. If I can guess which hand it's in, tell me for free. And if you're wrong? I'll pay you. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's do <laughs> this. Don't pee. Oh, I don't need to. Tama X-Ray. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I get what we're doing here. We're going to X-Ray it. Guess. Which hand is it in? X-ray. I can see Leon's bone structure. Scan both of his hands and... It's the left hand. The left hand, huh? Are you sure? You can change it if you want to. Nope, left hand for uh -huh. sure. Darn it. <laughs> see? How did you know? Superpowers. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> Not technically a lie. We have a well, we have an uh, AI for an eye. I did make a promise. I saw Mame at Ion. Ion. That's the child services facility run by Richie Chieda. He's in his father. It's Valentine's Day today, right? We promised to meet up tonight. But I couldn't wait any longer. I want to see Kizzy right now. I don't need to talk to her. Seeing her from afar is enough, so that's why I went to Ion. It's kind of like wanting to watch porn before going to happy ending places. What? I don't think this is anything like that. Do people do that? Mame was there. Mame, Kizzy, and Iris were talking. They had real serious looks on their faces. I couldn't barge into their conversation, so I left without saying anything. They were discussing something serious then. Those three saw Kameji's body at Studio de Vita. Maybe they were talking about that. Why are you even looking for Mame? Well, you see... Wait. Is Mame a suspect in the HB case? What? what? No, that definitely couldn't be it. 
Can you imagine if it turns out it was Ryuki? Wink sing. Oh, Kizzy. Yeah, uh, I'm excited for tonight. We should meet. Okay, okay. I'll see you there. Hey, congratulations. You actually get to hang out with somebody you like. A date with Kizuna today? I guess it was a date. Because it was Valentine's Day. Yeah? Why do you ask? Nothing. Just... Kizuna saw Kameji's body at the studio and then went on a date with Liam? Maybe she had an ulterior motive. What are you drinking? Thought I told you that. It's Alfre. Non-alcoholic beer. Did you buy that? Uh, of course I did. Okay, maybe it's true that I did steal a lot before. I know it's nothing to brag about, but they did call me the master of unlocking. You take that name right out of your goddamn mouth, you filthy whore! <laughs> uh, but that's all in the past. Did you always steal by yourself? It depended on what needed stealing. Sometimes I went alone, sometimes in pairs. If it was a big target, like some mansion in the boonies, I'd go with a team of five or six guys. The leader of the group was a Kumakura. You know them, right? And that's how I met Moma, the chairman of the Kumakuras. I was usually partnered with Quartz. They were kind of like a bodyguard. Helped me out whenever I got in a sticky situation. Why am I even telling you all this? I think I've said too much. Please forget it. It's all in the past. Yeah, it's all good. I wasn't even listening to you. <laughs> oh, actually, four days ago, on the 10th of February, I saw Mommy then, too, in front of Horadori Institute. Huh? She didn't notice me, though. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. That's interesting. What business does she have at that research facility? That's what I was thinking to myself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko oh. Sugure, president of Nice Japan. I know what you're thinking. Why would you think she's suspect just because of that, right? Well, you're right. I don't even know if Mami and Tokiko saw each other in there anyway. Not to mention Tokiko was killed two days ago on the night of the 12th. So maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Nah, it probably doesn't. Just coincidence. But for whatever reason, it caught my attention. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna see Kizzy tonight. I need to head to the beauty salon first. Beauty salon? Anyway, adios! Do you even have money for that? Why was Mame at Horidori Institute? Four days ago. Huh. It's interesting that Tokiko was behind her as well. Hmm. Horidori Institute. I remember. The goal was, the goal was to, to get, get inside, inside the hidden room, room inside Horidori Institute. I totally put that on hold. We need to go search that hidden room. <sighs> but going now would be pointless. If it's a hidden room, it's gotta be a secret and locked up tight. They're not just gonna let us in there. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Find Amame. Yep. Yeah. Lian said he saw her at Iowan. Oh, time to go to the orphanage. Alright. Tom and I headed to Iowan to find Mame. She was nowhere to be seen, neither was Kizuna or Iris, who was supposed to be with her. <sighs> Ask work if they saw three girls. They answered, I saw them here before, but that was a while ago. Well, we tried. Let's go. No, wait. That person over there. Hmm? Oh, hey, it's That's... Mask Girl! Excuse me! Nice to see you again. <laughs> wow. Wink sing. I need to hurry. If I don't. Uh your mask is upside down. Is the opposite. What? Oh, okay. Breath. Are you Rats barefoot? Don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. Are you really a rat? Or uh, go again? <laughs> I forgot to put mothballs in the dresser. What? Wow, she's... Where is it? Where is the main event taking place? Main event? You mean the Mer Nirvana X video? Wait, there come she back. goes. What was she talking about? Maybe a Halloween event or something? Wrong season for that. 
Halloween is all about costumes. Speaking of costumes, makes me think about monsters, which makes me think about unidentified animals, UMAs. I think my favorite UMA is a chupacabra, found in Puerto Rico. It has big fangs in its mouth, and it sucks the blood of humans and livestock. It can jump over 15 feet. I don't remember its specific height, but it seems to be relatively small in comparison to other monsters. Maybe she was talking about that one thing. What? Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't you? There's no point in paying further attention to her. She's talking about a BDSM club. We should head to... A different spot. Alright, well, found absolutely nothing there. After that, we searched all over the city to look for Mommy. Ultimately couldn't find her. The sun is setting. Let's give up on finding a Mommy for now. No, not yet. There's one more place I want to go. I didn't mention it before now because I thought, considering Mommy's mental state, it would be a long shot. But maybe... The studio? Hey, can you just cut to the chase? Where are you talking about? The maid cafe she works at. Oh. She's at the maid cafe, Sunfish Pocket in Akiba. I was thinking the studio, but okay. Oh, she is there. Hey, Liam's there too. Mommy, you were here this whole time? We were looking for you. Sorry to interrupt, but Mame can't talk right now. I don't really know how, but she lost her voice. What? She must still be struggling with what happened at the studio. But then, why is she here at the cafe? Wait, Leon's here. What is he doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? I told you, I was going to meet Kizzy today. She wanted to meet here. Oh, okay. I don't see Kizzy Where's anywhere. Where's Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. All right. Oh, is Iris coming too? Yeah, it was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. Yeah, that's all good. You still get to spend time with her. Why are you Seeing here? that you're wearing your outfit, are you working today? Of course. It's Valentine's Day. There's going to be tons of customers here. And they need as many mermaids as they can get. So her manager begged her to work today. Even though she can't talk? She can write, but... Uh... Why'd you go to Four Horror days ago, Dave? on the 10th of February, you went to Horridori Institute, right? Liam told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horridori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? What happened at the studio? I just want a clue. Anything at all would be helpful. Mame, you ran into terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. Just like... Just like in the original mermaid. I thought I told you. I don't understand what Mame could be thinking. What's going on in her head? Why don't you Perfect. ask her to write something? Looking at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well, then... Yeah, we should ask her heart, using the sink machine. Oh, well, okay. She knows who Tara is, doesn't she? No one else is there? Well, okay then. Good thing Boss and Pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. You could even get fired for this. It's fine. If I get results, Boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama, can you control the machine? You can do it remotely, right? Are you really going to do this? Mame ran into terror. I'm sure of it. It's highly likely she knows something important. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. Oh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll do it. Well then. I'm 
going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. Okay, start it. What was that? Could you start, please? <laughs> That's better. Here I go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Watch us wake up, Peter, looking at us and just being like, You used the machine without me. How dare you? Alright. Oh, that is... Oh, boy. What is all that? This is... Studio De Vita. The Faith to Face set is still up. That means... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please! Show us your dance! You want me to dance? No, 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 I'm not Iba. I can't dance! Come on, let's see it! <laughs> Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Resist, allow your heart to take you. Never let this merciless world lose <laughs> you. <laughs> that didn't really do it for me. Oh, well, she accidentally Welcome activated. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. It's Komeiji. This facial expression isn't changing at all. It's creepy. Is this how she this is a competition the for the one and only Quiz King's throne. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeiji. Oh, right, because she's obsessed with quiz. Challenger with is. quizzes. Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. What the hell is this? I didn't agree to this. I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them, too. The rules are simple. After five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. He sounds so robotic. The winner will receive this amazing prize. What? The prize is a mame? A mame, please tell us how you're feeling. Hmm. Shy, huh? We'll talk to you throughout the show. The first stage will be right after these commercial messages. Okay. A mame is the prize. What kind of show is this? I guess we have no choice but to accept the challenge. If we win, we might learn something about terror, too. Oh, well. If this is a competition, I'm gonna do my best, Ryuki. Hell yeah. Finish the scan before the commercials even end. Somnium scan, activate! All right, time to lock one. Time to lock two. Time to lock three. To lock four, five. Interesting that there were a lot of X's on that fifth one. Stage one. Let's begin. Who will be reading the questions? But I guess he's not going to read the questions himself. Makes sense. I wonder who it'll be. Oh, hey, it's Mizuki. Mizuki? Hello, I'm Mizuki Date. I don't really get trivia questions or whatever, but here's the first one. Stage one is the scavenger quiz. We filled the studio with different items. Please choose the item you think is the answer. Quickest to answer wins. I guess it's like a scavenger hunt? Guess so. Okay. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. Huh. What? That's the question? Jeez. A tough one right from the start. Mommy liked watching quiz shows this child. She enjoyed seeing more of the truth. Say that. What was the question? Oh, hey. This. Uh. Add a rabbit. 
What was the question? Hang on, Z. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? What? Oakman? Metal pipe? No. Out of a deep sea fish. Trident. It's in the cult mag. Anyway. Right, she's good friends with Iris. So that's the answer. Hmm. Cult magazine? That wasn't right. Mommy likes music and voices. She has sounds. She became an idol. Oh, wait, hang on. If that's the case, would it be the Bokeman? Bokeman, the song Gen gave to Amame. But why did you think this was the right answer? The BGM and this label. I just connected the dots. Good enough reason for me. The answer is Bokeman. Okay. Good job, Challenger. That's correct. Good job, Ryuki. It was the ninth, so I chose the label with a nine. You sound like you could do this all day. Huh? Did you say Date? Huh? All day? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, in love with him or something? Mame's always listening to Gen's song with this. Hmm. Amame was troubled, but she always chose the blank, blank, or blank. She chose the blank. Now let's move on to the next question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's what? the same question again. BGM is different. Uh... Um... Sunfish pop. Something related to Mame is the answer. The answer. Nope. Hmm. I guess that seems to be the case. Good at gleaning info from sounds. Uh, what else is something that she would know? She would have. Uh, no, that's Shoma's headphones, but also... Trident? Isn't this from Sunfish Pocket? It's a trident given to the members. This one is Orichalcum, the highest rank. Orichalcum, the legendary ore. It sounds kind of exciting. You have the mind of an edgy teenager, Ryuki. When I was a kid, I used to draw so many swords. I would try to figure out which one was the strongest. I used to draw swords as a kid as well. Ow, ow, ow. Oh god, your cringeworthy past. It hurts. Hey! Anyway. The answer to this question is trident. Damn it! Like the claw weapon here. Three blades that go wham and clack! Oh, it hurts! Please, don't make me listen to you talk about this anymore! Let's go! What's wrong with the... The answer is this. Ah, crap. What? What? Correct, champion. All right, I'm heating up. We almost had that one. We should really think these through. When in doubt, think it over in the contestant seat. This is the last question of stage one. Okay. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the last one. I've heard this song somewhere. Thing. What is the answer? If we retrace our step. The BGM? Yes, I think it's definitely related. Well, what's this song called? Is it the trident this time? The answer. Nope. The answer. The robot? What the frick? Correct. All right. <sighs> Must have really earned that Quiz King title. That's the end of the scavenger quiz. Let's look at the results. The champion is in the lead. I guess this shows the standings. We're in blue. I've seen a quiz show like this before. It's Mame. 
something is wrong with her. Why? Why? Why are you laughing like that? Huh? And to log one. A cult quiz. What did she say? I couldn't make it out. Stage two is brought to you by me, Asa. You bet. It's Iris this time. Iris with no pep? That's something you don't see every day. Yeah, it's so weird. I'm sure my fans know this about me, but I'm really into the occult. So my questions are going to be about occult things. The name of this stage is Occult Quiz. Okay. I will show you a chart. Please answer with a name or word. Here is the first question. Uh. Which of these represents a historical secret society, and can you name it? Um? Hmm. It's either A or B, right? Yeah, but we need to answer with the actual name, not A or B. Uh... Brother. Grand Lodge. Voice. Scouts. Compass. Providence. It's okay. B. So one of these represents a secret society, and we have to name it. Let's think about it. Begin. Okay, I know what this is. Answer. What should we say? Uh, freaking free. Mason. The answer is B. Freemasons. <laughs> ha ha! The challenger is correct. Well done. The Freemasons are said to have existed since the 16th century. This is so freaking weird. All over the world. Their purpose and recruitment tactics remain a mystery. Hey, it's okay to talk Can about them like this, that? right? We're not in trouble, are we? Can you imagine, like... Can you imagine somebody talking like that in real life? Just like this the entire time. You know something? It sounds kind of weird even just trying to talk like this. I sound kind of robotic. It should be fine. It's just Iris's opinion. Well, I guess Mame's opinion. By the way, A was the office I'm from. Lemniscate. <laughs> Would've been funny if we, had, we answered Lemniscate. He always chose the right option. Here comes the second question. Many unidentified mysterious animals, or umas, have been discovered. Which one is smaller? An uma question. I'm not too confident here. Have confidence. Judging from the characteristics of A and B, this could be easy. This is the Chupacabra. Begin. Hang on, I, I think I actually already know this. It's Chupacabra, right? Chu... whoops. Uh... Can I just type it? AK, yes. How about B, Chupacabra? There we go. The Rock Challenger. Good answer. Bigfoot A is up to 10 feet tall. Chupacabra B is no more than 6 feet tall. The chupacabra Damn. is taller That's than still me? bigger than I was thinking. They could be the same size as you, Ryuki. That is a scary thought. Damn. Uh, when in doubt or hiding something, she chose the... This is the last question boy. of the occult quiz. Oh boy. Which of these two things affect the human psyche and behavior? A Marketing or B? Affect is sort of vague. There could be a lot of answers. I guess we're supposed to choose the best representative answer. Ah, uh, what was it called? Begin. I know exactly what it's called. I just can't remember. What should we say? Uh, it was some sort of hypnotism. What was it? Uh, hang on. Menu. Oh. 
trivia. Let's see. Subliminal effect. Is it just subliminal? Damn it. The amps. God damn it. Correct, champ. Champion is amazing. Don't praise the guy who just beat us. That is all for Damn it, I should have checked the trivia thing. I wonder what the panel looks like now. Well, 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 the challenger is keeping up. That's it for stage two. Three stages left. Alright, let's talk to him. Oh, a mommy showed up again. Why did this Huh? Oh man, I'm so confused. I really want to know what's happening. There's something about Mame. Is it about the case? I don't know. We don't know enough to say for sure. The prize is Mame, right? If we win, we can ask her directly. Hey, it's Gen. Now I, Gen Ishiagane, will be asking the questions. Oh god, he's Gen so next. much scarier. Stage three is when he's robotic. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Wow. But... The challenger will attempt to find the differences from there. Find the differences? There are three monitors in the room. What is shown on the screen is different from what is actually there. You have to spot these differences. Compare the monitor and the real scene. They're okay, we just need to compare things. Doesn't seem too hard. Don't be so sure. There's a ton of stuff to look through. We gotta be careful. Now we will begin. Well, okay then. Uh, where's the one with the eye? There. Let's take a closer look at the monitor. First got off, something? Hmm. Amame came across many. Well, first off. Hang on. Mizuki. She's not. No. We can ignore why she's bloody for now. But in any case, this looks like a difference. Yep. That is correct, Chuck. <laughs> Mizuki? What's going on? Mommy came across many wounded things. But also... There we go. <laughs> Found it. Uh, let's see. He's enough. No is, reaction. Is it literally just the, the wounded people? She looks different people. from the monitor. One difference is Kizuna. That is correct, Chuck. <laughs> Kizuna. Oh god, this better not she be a prophetic dream. This magazine was in the studio, too. Should we piece it together? No. I think this is fine as is. I see. It's a difference. There we go. That is correct. Got another one. There is a blue figure on the monitor in the same place. How does that relate to the book? 
Huh. Whoa. It's blood. And what she knows? This is creepy. One thing's important thing is the heart and blood she carries all of it inside. Okay, let's see. What? figure is split from top to bottom. I think it's symbolizing the case. Is that a wrench on the screen? There's so much going on. I don't get it. But at least we can say this is another difference. <sighs> so confused. Uh, Ken is so Whoa. creepy when he's robotic. I don't know how to describe it. It's more corpsey. Probably because it actually has blood. Celebrate after seeing that. Yeah. Whoa, this again? All right. Oh, we made it back to the studio. Huh? Isn't that? Huh? Oh, the body. Oh God, it's moving. Oh. Sheesh. Shouldn't make an old geezer walk so much. Komeiji. It's the same as when the body was found, so it probably is. Well done. It's so creepy Let's when check it's... The board. Okay. The challenger is putting up a good fight. If the game is still going, can the champion continue? Uh, I don't know. Ryuki. What was that? Ultimate fifty fifty. What was that blood? This is way too deep. Good work, Challenger. Giving me a run for my money. Andy's Komeiji. Other than the voice, he seems to be okay. I see that you're quite capable. So now it's my turn to deliver the quiz. The fourth stage is the ultimate 50 50. Okay. I thought we were competing against him. Yeah. The way he is now, he obviously can't answer any questions. The rules are simple answer the questions as quickly as possible on instinct. Challenger, go sit at the deluxe chair over there. Oh, okay. Hey, it's there just are like your room. Questions. If you need to use the restroom, do it now. It's fine. I've never used the bathroom in my life. What? Do you have an image to maintain? Oh. In any case, let's begin. I mean, she's an AI. Question. Which would you rather eat? Poo flavored curry? Or curry flavored poo? Um, probably poo flavored curry because then it's not actually poo. That what if question has been around forever. I didn't know there was a correct answer. Hmm. Um, uh, poo flavored curry. Forget about the flavor. At, At least, least one that one is edible. <laughs> Hello, Clavdy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy this thing. What were they having while making this game? Whatever it is I wanted. Hello, Ground Dog. Welcome to the stream. How are you? The answer is poo flavored curry. Yes, I was right. After we're done here, I'll be sure to order you a bowl of poo flavored curry on Goober Eats. <laughs> Goober Eats. Would that even be on the menu? Okay. Next question. If you could use a time machine, would you go to the future or the past? Another question with no right answer? Is this how it's going to be? Hmm, that's a hard question. I would probably go to the past. Oh, that's an easy one. 
I want to change my past. The answer is the past. I wish I really could go back. Yeah, I understand. Although, you know how, uh... Okay, here's the thing. You guys know how... What's it called? People keep saying you, sh you can't go to the past without breaking the timeline. If you were to say, for example, like, go to the past to win the lottery. What if you go to the future and figure out what the next lottery numbers are, then go back to the past? Because then you wouldn't be creating a paradox. Next question. Which would you rather have? An ideal job or an ideal lover? Ideal lover? No, job. I'm happy to have this job. I can't even think about losing it. Answer. Ideal job. That was the ideal answer. I'm sure your boss would be happy. Actually, I did kind of consider that. I feel like it doesn't matter what I answer here. Next question. Be truthful and be poor, or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Be truthful and be poor, or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Uh, probably tell the it's truth. It's hard to live a lie. So the answer is truthful and poor. Eat the rich. Let's start a red revolution. What's gotten into you? <laughs> All right. Next question. Lies of P. <laughs> Which is worse to lose, the father or mother? I'm gonna go with my mother. I don't think there's any good choice here. The mother? The answer is mother. Why did you choose that? Uh, I felt like it. Because my father is a tyrant. Next question. Which would be worse to lose? Sight, sight or, or hearing? hearing? Uh, hearing. Hmm. I don't get excited if there's no voices. The answer is hearing. What did you mean by that anyway? Bodybuilding competitions would be so boring without a crowd cheering. Uh, okay. Huh? Next question. I just... Someone important was hurt in front of you. Do you make the person responsible apologize or get revenge? Uh... Get an apology. No one should strive for revenge. Mainly because... It, well, it depends. If there's a petty way I can get revenge without, you know, endangering anybody else, then yes, I'll do it. The answer is apology. But I'd rather them apologize to the uh, to whoever they hurt because it would mean more. Though I guess the effectiveness of an apology depends on the damage caused. Yeah, exactly. And that's a good point. Next question. What would you do if your best friend and your family are about to die, but you could only save one? Oh, come on! <laughs> um... Um... Dumb! Family? Family! Because I choose my family. The answer is family. I wonder what the point of all these questions is. Because if they're my best friend, they are my family. Oh, no. Only two more left. What if this is like... What's it called? What if a lot of these questions are affecting what... Mame ends up doing afterwards? Like, maybe these are all questions she needs answers to right now. Next question. I can never meet my loved one again. If you could just forgive sadness, 
What do you forget? Or remember? I've been struggling with this one particularly. Honestly, I would rather forget, but for the sake you of this mean game. Only the sad memory. I'd remember. I won't forget. I won't allow myself to forget. Yeah. If I do, I think that all my memories of them would disappear too. Yeah, that's another thing. If I were to forget about it. The answer is to not forget. Yeah. You oh, fuck you, audience. <laughs> not you guys. You guys are great. Next question. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secrets spilled or be part of some dangerous plan? Past versus future. Have your past secret exposed or your future compromised by some scheme? Uh... I'd rather accept problems from my past than ruin my future. The answer is have my biggest secret spilled. This question is so vague with secrets and schemes and all. It's hard to answer. Yeah. It what would you guys have chosen there? That is it. Yeah. The challenger answered all questions correctly. 100%. <laughs> this is what the standings look like. Now I think I completely understand you, Challenger. I don't like how that sounded. Huh? Find the truth. What? Things are getting ominous. The Challenger now has the right to attempt the final stage. There are four total questions. If you get them all right, you win. What is this? Um. Question one. What is this space? Terror? Correct. Okay. Oh. This. We were right. She was being threatened. Question two. What is this? I... Aren't these all... Correct? I'll go with Andes Komeji. What's this question about? Error. I won't use that yet. Correct. Mame must have heard about the Nirvana initiative from him. Final question. I got threatened again. My only option now is... Oh, well. I don't know. What? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it either, but this is probably everything that's happened to Mame. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't use that timey a while ago. That would have been bad. I knew I'd need to use it for something. There was no way they were going to give me the minus 900 and something something. For no reason. That was it? What was that? What the? Congratulations. Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations, Shinji! <laughs> Everyone clap! Congratulations! Oh god, no. Wait, what? Here. 
Tama. Talk to Mame. Quick. Mame, tell me. What did Terra say to you? Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. What? What do you mean? Tama, be more specific. Mommy must have some kind of critical information. No, Ryuki, we're out of time. No. Let's get out of here. Damn. Didn't understand the last question. Performance result. Causality. Okay, then. The Mind of God. Ryuki, Chapter 4, R1. Mommy is still sleeping. I think we gave her too much. We needed pewter. Oh boy. Anyway, that somnium. Those final words are thought provoking. Nirvana collected. Genocide. Something to do with the Nirvana initiative? Probably. Bunch, Bunch of people who watched it have gone, gone missing. missing. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location and they're all getting murdered. So the rumors were true. Hmm. Ryuki, you've got a call. From who? Pick up and find out. Hey, Aiba! Aiba? Quiet. Stop yelling. This is an emergency. What is it? He's an Achieda. Uh-huh. She's gone missing. What? Is he? No. Ryuki, you can provide invaluable assistance. Will you look for Kizuna? Well, yeah. Of course. Understood. Good luck. Wait, didn't... Didn't Leon say... Kizuna. Missing? It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. Maybe Kizuna saw the video and... Nirvana collected genocide. Oh no. Ah, crap. Not all a dream. Ryuki, you look more drained than a bathtub. Are you okay? Yeah, we we don't have much time. In, in like two hours, the Nirvana project's gonna start, and there's gonna be mass genocide. Yeah. And of course, freaking Thomas sitting on the boss's boobs. Were you able to get some sleep? No, not really. But it's fine. This is nothing. If you say so. Okay, Tama. You okay, Ryuki? Your eyes are bloodshot. You need to get some sleep? That's because you've been staring at Boss's chest too long. <laughs> no! I was just looking at you, Tama. I wasn't thinking about how wonderful it would be to put my face in Boss's cleavage at all. Um, Ryuki? <laughs> Not bad. No, you are sweating a little. <laughs> because you're radiating heat. How are you doing? Same old, same old. Why do you ask? No, it's just... <laughs> well, Why are you looking because... at me? It's all right now! Because I am here! <laughs> Half for all! Full time! Something! Oh man, you're not doing so well. You can't even remember it. You're stupid. The person who says you're stupid is stupid. The person who says you're stupid is stupid is stupid. Ryuki, are you doing okay? <laughs> Mentally. No. You're the one who got him like this. Me? What did I do? <laughs> Overwork. <laughs> There's something important to me. It's something I love. It's dear. And it's irreplaceable. And I need to protect it, no matter what. So I can't be saying I'm tired or I don't have the energy. What are you talking about? I have no idea. He's just giving, like, a random-ass speech. Okay. Wait, is there anything else with Tama? No, okay. 
about the video. Susanna disappeared after watching the video, right? I've heard the stories about people going missing after watching some video. It could mean that she's with the other people that disappeared. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're <sighs> all getting murdered. I think it's safe to say that the QR video has to do with our terror. After all, the QR video that linked there was found on Jin's body. That connects terror to the disappearances. Indeed. Meaning if we find where Kizuna and the others disappear too. We'll find terror as well. Let's see. If I knew, I would have told you already. Needless to say, Kizuna's phone isn't any help. We asked her friends too, but none of them know where she is. That's unfortunate. About well, Kizuna's it family. was Richie who first reported her missing. It was late and Kizuna wasn't home yet, so he called the police. He thought she might have been kidnapped for ransom, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Are we sure he's, she's not just with Leon? So far, it doesn't look like the culprit has tried to contact the family at all. Actually, where is Leon? He should know. That creepy stalker guy should know where she is. In any case, you have one goal. Find Kizuna, no matter what. Finding her should be a breakthrough in the HB case. Right, but where do we even look? We need to turn over every stone. Just go to Lian! Ryuki, Tama, good luck. I'm Roger sure he'll it. find her in like... Let's go. One hour or less. No matter where she is. Sorry, but I... none of this is adding up. We want to discover Terror's identity, how they chose their victims, why they cut them in half. What is going on inside the head of a serial killer like that? I'd have a better chance of guessing what's going on inside the head of a teenager. Are you talking <laughs> about your daughter? Yeah, she didn't come home last night. I was uh -oh. able to get a hold of her, so I know she's okay. safe, but she worries me. She doesn't even seem to realize it. Maybe she got that from you. No, that can't be it, because she's adopted. Oh, uh, well, I mean... You can pick up different, uh... I won't let that tragedy happen again, no matter what. Like, you don't have to be related to pick well, up traits from a parental from figure. Now. Wait, what? We need to make sure Kissing that has a Merry Christmas. Ryuki, someone on this poster knows something. Bring them all in here for questioning. You just want to meet them, don't you? <laughs> That's where Kizuna is. Oh? Where? Somewhere around here. She just points towards Japan. <laughs> what would you do if Kizuna's found at a bathhouse? Ryuki, do you have the confidence to stroll right on in? No. Yeah, happily. F God damn it. Job, of course. Ryuki, sometimes you have no filter. <laughs> Pimples. Ryuki, triangle. I got it. The sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180. So? Uh-huh. Ball. Bookshelf. Coffee maker. Happy birthday, pumpkin. Uh, origami chain. Tanuki. Ryuki, let me give you some advice. Those who sell water are up to no good. What kind of advice is that? <laughs> My terror is trying to bait us. Wait, what? Maybe keys in his bait. I mean, could be. Wouldn't be surprised. That it looks like a volleyball to me. Let's see, it looks like a bowling ball, but it's actually a volleyball. Ah, you got me. No. Anything else? Shelves, RC racing car. Bags, shrunk lantern. Red lantern, door, ribbon. Wish I could be reborn. <laughs> Wonder when we'll need to have one of those made for our culprit. Need to arrest them first. <laughs> I wish I could break that bottle right over Terror's head. Wine bottle. Blooms. Okay. Ah. Oh, what the actual... Ah, crap. Okay, well, uh... Um... Let's go to the sunfish pocket, maybe? Are we just supposed to visit all of these? He's not here, okay. Oh, hey, Ota. Um, Ota, have you heard? About Kizuna, right? I've been looking for her since last night. All I can see is blood. You mean your eyes are bloodshot? Yes, that's what I meant, but I couldn't find Kizuna anywhere. 
wink sink. I hope Kizzy's okay. I need to get back to searching. Why are you here? I thought that Mommy might know where Kizzy is. I tried calling and messaging her on Nile. But I couldn't get a hold of her. Yeah, we kinda... So I came here. We were kinda sinking I with her. I thought I could find her here. She's not here, though. Doesn't look like she is, though. Nope. Okay. Any leads? Well, I talked to all the mermaids. I asked them if they knew where Kizzy went, but I didn't get any answers. None of them knew. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna get out there and keep looking. What about your food? Ryuki, do you think that little of me? I put my friends above everything else. I can't be wasting time sitting around eating omelet rice. Then why'd you order it? We were just eating a second ago. Anyway, gotta get going. Ryuki, good luck with your search. Dude, don't just waste your food. I'll eat it for you if you want. <laughs> <sighs> Who cares? Anyway, we should go too. Yeah. Can I eat it? No. Wait, what? I just, oh, no. Hang on. Slug. Deep down, don't only want to be sat on by women. <laughs> no. Uh, God damn it, these guys. Wait, where's the. Uh, um, logs. Marble? Island Garden, Matsushita Diner, and the residence. Sagan residence. Agency, Sekiba High. We're gonna go to the warehouse district. Leon, you'd know. Leon. Leon, do you know that Kizuna's gone missing? Of course I do. I was with her right before she vanished. Where'd she go? Wait, see. Kizzy! Kizzy! Where did you go? If only I'd walked her back home. Oh man. I went everywhere I could think of. I've been looking everywhere. I can't sleep, but... His face is filled with tension and despair. Why are you I here? came here with Kizzy once, so I thought, maybe. I left the store with Kizzy just past nine. I wanted to take her home, but she told me she'd just take a taxi. And a couple hours later, Around 11, I got a call from Kizzy's dad, Mr. Chieda. Kizuna isn't back yet. Is she with you? When I heard that, my stomach dropped. My mind went blank. My head was spinning. I told him we split up earlier that night and hung up. That's when I started looking for her. I also asked two people to help me look. One is my good friend Date. The other is a former co-worker, Quartz. Who the heck is Quartz? I told them the situation. Kizzy is missing. Please, help me find her. Did you watch the video with Kizuna yeah. last night? We watched some trending videos on Newcube, and there was this one video related to the HB case. I told them we shouldn't watch it, but girls in high school have minds of their own, you know? Oh boy. Wait, why are you missing that? Damn it. Where did you go, Kizzy? Anyway, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna find her, even if it costs me my life. You guys don't give up either. Of course not. We got this. We should go. I don't think there are any hints here. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's see. Let's keep a high, maybe? Look for Kisa, ask Sunsa, no trace of her. Okay. This is where Chikara's right half was. This location is related to the HB case. So there might be some clues. That's what I was thinking, anyway. There's nothing here. Too bad. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Uh, what about the Horadoi Institute of Genetics? We don't have time to be coy anymore. We gotta go through to the secret place. Hello. Are you a researcher here? I'm Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. Right, you were here four days ago, I remember. I wanted to ask you some questions. Momoka, it's okay. I'll clean up the keyboard. Uh, who's Momoka?
Okay. You don't have to think about that. It's irrelevant. Uh. You know, yes, I know her. She's the daughter of Richi Chieda, a big stakeholder in this facility. What about her? Oh, that's awful. Do you happen to know where she is? I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know her personally or anything. Just to be sure, I talked to the other researchers, but they all said the same thing. No new information. About the do you know room. of any hidden rooms in this building? Hidden rooms? What do you mean? Maybe a secret room that no one knows about. <laughs> That's quite the paradox. How could I tell you about a room no one knows about? And if it's a secret, I wouldn't be able to simply tell you, would I? That's fair. It was X-ray mode to look around. There were no secret rooms. Pathways to lead to a hidden room. Hmm. Ryuki, let's hold off on the hidden room. But if Kizuna was in there... True, we can't say for sure that she isn't there. But we're not going to be able to find her. But we're taking a lot of time looking for some hidden room that might not even exist. We should focus our attention somewhere else. At least for now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. I get the feeling Kizzy's going to die in this route. Uh... Nice Japan branch, maybe. No one here. Looks like it. Go to Ryuki, the, uh... why did we come here? Kizuna's disappearance is related to the video. That video was based on Bats 490, created by Nice. So I thought we might find a hint here. We go to the basement, maybe? Oh. It's Tokiko's hologram. Why'd it suddenly appear? It must play automatically when it detects a visitor. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. In my absence, would you like to hear me speak about one of these three memes? Chakra. Mandela effect. Birthday. Please select one. Upon selection, I will elucidate the theme. Huh. Well, we're actually going to end it here because it's getting late. So, thank you everybody so much for joining. Like I say, the end of your Wait, hang on, there's a Tamagotchi thing I forgot to do. Hang on, one sec. Uh, what do you do to maintain peace? Be friendly with neighbors, starting an NPO, don't complain, avoiding others. I usually just don't complain. Okay. Uh, we're gonna save here. And we're gonna end it here for today. So thank you everybody so much for joining. Like I said, the end of the stream. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all next time. Take care of yourselves and sweet nightmares.